Yo, yo, what is up guys? Hello and welcome to Unstoppable News Gaming, guys. Today we are starting a new live stream, something that I've never done before. This is going to be Smash Bros. And today we're going to be doing just different Smash Bros stuff, so hopefully you guys are ready for this. This is going to be with the Super Smash Bros Club at Tennessee Tech University. And you guys will be able to watch them fight for the rest of the day for the next couple of hours. Right now we're watching a friendly match between, between uh, Demi, Demi God. And uh, this guy with the Jigglypuff. And I, I'm not a very good announcer, so I'll just let you guys watch it, whatever you want to do. Alright, we're going to go over to the chat now and see who's in the chat. We have Christian Justwell, we have Tony Hull, we have the Gamer Squid. We have a few people in the chat over here right now, so I appreciate you guys for coming in and joining the stream. If you guys want to, leave a like, subscribe, comment. You guys can donate in the in the link down below. That'd be sick. Um, I preach the channel. So let's go ahead and watch some Smash today, guys. Alania Hypel, welcome to the stream. Glad to see you here. Alright guys, so let's see who's in the chat now. We've got Galactic Dolphin, we got Kristen just well the same guy from before, but yeah, so this is going to be the live stream for Super Smash Bros. I plan on doing this every single Tuesday, if I can. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it and you want to see more stuff like this on the channel. Because this is what we're gonna be doing today. Here we have Pokemon Trainer versus Daisy. You guys top in the chat and tell me which one you thought think are gonna win. Do you think it's uh, Daisy's gonna win or do you think Pokemon Trainer is gonna win? Let me know.
All right, I'm back to answer some comments now in the comment section. Bman29 says this will be a regular thing at Tech. Yes, this is a regular thing we play every Tuesday. And Galactic Dolphin says Pokemon Trainer is gonna win. It's looking that way. Uh, Chris Well, Justin says, oh, that's hard. I'm gonna go with the Pokemon Trainer. Yeah, the Pokemon Trainer definitely. That's my favorite character. One of my favorite ones besides Yoshi. My favorite character is Yoshi. So, what's your guys' favorite character in Smash Bros? Do you guys like Mario? Do you guys like Fox? I like Yoshi, I like Pokemon, I like any Pokemon character, obviously, because of the Pokemon channel, but let me know what you guys think. Alright, and that is going to be that for that game. I think we're going to have a few more friendlies, and then we're going to start getting into the actual tournament. Um, but right now, we're just doing friendlies. Like the Dolphin said, he likes Lucario. Um, so, that's that. Let's go ahead and go back over here. So, in case you guys are new to the stream, the rules are three stock, eight minutes, items off, best of three. We also have the smash, final smash off, handicap off, uh, damage ratios at the one. All me's are legal and no spirits. Pause is off as well. So, it's just like any other S Smash Bros. tournament, I guess. They're all pretty much the same. Um... Well, so if you guys like this, this is going to be like a test stream for the first thing to see if you want to see it on the channel. If you don't, let me know. Just leave some comments down below. All right, boys, that is another match there. Pokemon Trainer is the winner. So uh, what characters are you guys looking forward to seeing today in the, in the tournament? Is there any characters that you guys expect to see? Any characters you want to see? Uh, what characters do you guys think you'll see in today's like in today's thing? Uh, Galactic Dolphin asked a question, said, who is your favorite? My favorite character has got to be Yoshi, my dude. I love Yoshi, always have. Uh, I like Pikachu. Uh, sometimes I play Kirby. Any Pokemon. I don't ever play Mewtwo or Lucario or Greninja. I like uh, Incineroar. Incineroar is a really cool Pokemon. Uh, there's also a lot of other things that are different. They're just cool. They're all just different and stuff. Um, but that's just that's just my opinion. What do you guys like?
And there we go, guys, another match. Are you guys enjoying the video so far? If so, leave a like, subscribe. Uh, don't forget to donate if you want to, if you want to do that kind of thing. We do appreciate anything that you can that you can donate. Um, so, yeah, it's rather one-sided. It definitely is, uh, but we'll, you'll see a lot more matches today. This is just a couple friendly matches getting started. Um, so, you guys need to answer. Come on, talk in the chat. What do you guys want to see? What kind of what kind of characters do you want to see in the fights today? Let me know. Did you check it? Nope. Cause she did. Oh. <laughs> Hey guys, we are back, and Alana Hopple says that he hopes he sees Link today in today's uh, live stream. Hopefully we will see Link, I, I doubt it. Link ain't no fun to play. Alright, so I have someone here that's going to comment and tell you really quick, so you guys can just listen to what he has to say. Alright, welcome to the match between a me fighter and another me fighter. So it's two me fighters going up against one another. God has him on the ropes here. Gonna get it, try to knock him off the edge here, but I don't think it's gonna work. Uh, Presto's gonna come back, give him a nice little boomerang there. And give him a little kick to the face. <laughs> and Presto has him on the edge. Gonna try knocking him off, but no, God swings him back there, pressing him off the other edge, giving him a nice little kick and another boomerang. The boomerang is very crucial here. If you get him with that boomerang, it's gonna allow you to juggle them or do a nice combo, allowing them to fall off the edge and get a nice victory over this people. 
Now, me personally, I would be choosing a Ness character right here. That's just me. That's my main. Not many people choose Ness. But he's got God in the air. Ooh, going to miss the juggle there. Presto also going back in the air. Got a God on the edge, but he's just going to stay on the edge and keep coming back up and down. Uh, got him with the boomerang. Presto also getting back with the boomerang. A lot of boomerang action going on here between these two fighters. He's got him up in the air and sends him out of here. Presto goes up 3-2. to two. Presto comes back. For the new viewers coming in, why don't we go ahead and reset the rules so everybody knows what the rules are going to be like. Okay, so our rule set here is we've got three stock, eight minimum, <laughs> eight minute stock. We got unstoppable one of us doing a little dance over there. Uh, we got eight minute stocks. The stage morphs and stage hazards have been turned off. Final smash meter and handicap are off. Items are off, and damage ratio is set to 1.0. All means are legal and no spirits. Pause is also not allowed in this game. Uh, don't want anybody getting an advantage using the pause button there. Let's go back to the game where Presto has just lost his first life, making it 2-2. Two to two. And uh, what, what do you think about this game with Um Well, it really looks like Presto's upper hand here, but it could easily slip and change the, the hand, the flip, of a, flip a coin, you know. You never know what's going to happen in Smash Bros. Anything can happen. Um, so... What characters do you like to see whenever you're watching Smash? Uh, when I'm watching Smash, I like a different variety of characters. I like to see a little bit of Mii Fighters, as you're seeing here. It's very unique. Not many people play it. Also like to see the new fighter, Inkling, as they uh, use that paintbrush to roll over their enemies, get them stuck in the ground. It's really helpful to do that. Uh, I hear you're a Yoshi main. You like yeah. to use the, the Yoshi main yeah, here? I like to use Yoshi. I like to use a little bit of Pikachu, just any Pokemon character, really, except for like Mewtwo. I like them all. They're all pretty good. Um, I just, I like Yoshi. I've always liked Yoshi. I liked him since Yoshi's Island. And when I first played Smash in the GameCube, I played Smash Melee. And I, I picked uh, Yoshi. And I just, ever since then, I just started playing it, dude. I think I think that's why I chose Ness as a character. Because, you know, he's just been in the game for so long. And you just you just choose these characters and they carry on throughout the games. And they have yeah. a special place in our hearts. Did you ever play uh, Earthbound, actually? the actual? Game? I've never played Earthbound. But it's really surprising because I've chose him as my favorite character and never played the game. My favorite Nintendo game is actually The Legend of Zelda. But I do not use Link. Wow. Yeah. Well, there's so many different Links. You can use Toon Link. You can use Young Link. Link now from Breath of the Wild. You yeah, can literally I, use anything. I do like Sheik, however. Sheik is a really good uh, add-on to the game, even though they have changed her in uh, Ultimate yeah, a little is, bit. It's weird seeing her, not like her and Zelda, not as the same character. Yeah, they it's split. They chose to split them out. That was a very uh, bold thing to do. Oh, dude, it looks like they're at a stalemate right now. They're just kind of standing there. <laughs> Presto taking a oh. knee. Also, God taking a knee. A little bit oh. tired here. Going to use the go. win. There we go. Hit him with oh, the tornado and going to smack him out of here. <laughs> And that is game for that. That is it for that smash. So what do you guys think of the stream so far? Are you guys enjoying the video? Do you guys want to see more of this? Let us know down below like in the description and stuff so we know so we know if you guys want to see more of this, if you want to hear more talking on the stream, or if you just want to listen to the game and us to shut up. Let's, <laughs> just let us know what you want. Real names instead of Wario. Yeah. And, yeah. So here we are, guys, with two new fighters. We've got Whoop and we've got <laughs> Wario. <laughs> Who do you guys think's gonna win? Uh, the crazy biker dude or the mad fox? What do you think, Rills? You think you think Fox? Or the well, mad fox Wolf come win? out really strong there, but Wario deals so much damage that it, he can come back in an instant. Yeah. And while you guys are watching the stream, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment. You guys can share it to anyone you think is going to watch it, anyone you think that would enjoy the stream. If you're watching this as a video, I appreciate you for making this far in the video, because this, this is almost 30 minutes in, so thanks for that. And there goes Wario's first live. Yeah, I definitely feel like Wolf is going to win this one. <laughs> upper hand right now. Play this tournament? No.
All right, so we have Sweet Mitch. Welcome to the stream, Sweet Mitch. He says Wolf is going to win, and yeah, it's looking that way. He's got three stock left, <laughs> so he's got a little bit of an advantage right now. Hey, if he's Squirrel, we got a mod in the stream. Thanks for being here. Is anybody looking forward to seeing Yoshi today in the stream? I know I am. I love Yoshi. Let me uh, a different color Yoshi every every game. I don't ever use the same color because it's bad luck if you use the same color over and over. So make sure you switch color on Yoshi's. All right, boys, so that's going to be the end of the friendlies. I think the tournament's going to go ahead and get started pretty soon. So if you guys want to stick around for the tournament, uh, that would be sick. So let me know when you guys are wanting to see some sick fights because we're going to be doing this every single Tuesday, probably um, same time every Tuesday. If you guys are looking forward to seeing this, be sure to leave a like, leave some, leave some comments so I know like the positive feedback is there. I uh, appreciate you guys for watching. So let's... Uh, Let's uh, let's get the next fight underway. I'll I'll talk to you guys whenever the next fight is starting. Uh, we'll get one going pretty soon though. All right, so B-Man says, I remember trying to get into the original Smash Bros. tournament at Tech last year. That was an embarrassment. B-Man, he was in the Tech tournament last year. That's pretty cool that we have someone watching the stream that was in the tournament last year. So are, are you still on campus? Or are you you want to come to tonight's Smash Bros. meeting? We're still here if you want to come on up. Um, so we have some new friendly starting, a, a new guy coming in. We still got Demi playing. He's going to be using some old, some old, he can use it like any character basically. He can use like any one he wants. Um, so hopefully you guys are ready for some sick thoughts about to happen here. like a bread.
All right, guys, we're back on the mic right now. I have Corey with me, and he was playing early in the friendly matches. So, Corey, earlier when you playing against Demi, like, what was up with that, man? Oh, dude, uh, he's insane at this game. Yeah. Uh, I'm just, he's very, he's a very patient player, and he's very smart, which is a really deadly mix in this game, especially when he plays the characters that he does, like Inkling. Yeah, he, he definitely plays very smart, and he knows what he's doing when he plays. I haven't really played against him before, because I never really made it that far in the tournament. But, <laughs> but uh, so, when was the first time like, you actually got into Smash and stuff? I've been into Smash since uh, probably 64, like since the game came out. Uh, but if I, first time I actually got into competitively was about four or five years ago with Melee. Yeah. Uh, I never really got into competitively. I've just been playing casually my entire life. Like whenever I played basketball back in the, back in high school, we had like a Wii in the locker room. We played Brawl like all the time. Oh, dude, Brawl was Brawl was actually sick. People always yeah. talk trash about it. It was fun, but, like, dude. The campaign was fun. Yeah. That part where you fought a Rayquaza, that was so cool. Oh, dude, yeah. that was sick. Um, Loki, yeah. I thought Duom was going to be Palkia and Naga. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, so what was like the first character you started like you, that you liked? You were like, oh, I want to use this character because I like him from a different game. Um, first character I made, uh, probably going to be Game and Watch. Yeah. And on the on melee, only because my small brain thought, you know what, <laughs> this is the last character you unlock. It's got to be the best. Yeah, I always. Um when I, I first played Melee, that's the first one I ever had. I had GameCube, and uh, my mom got it for us. She was like, oh, Mario. And I was like, all right, that sounds pretty cool. I played it as a fighting game. It was so cool. And then um, I had some cousins come over, and they were like, dude, you know you can get Mewtwo, right? And I was like, what? What? <laughs> you, yeah, you just got to leave your game on for 20 hours. I was like, <laughs> I did it. And it took forever, and we got Mewtwo. And Mewtwo was like, my brother would use him every single time, overpowered. He would just destroy us, <laughs> and I couldn't beat him. And then I found Yoshi, dude, and Yoshi was the Yoshi was my key to winning the game. <laughs> Yoshi's fun in that game, yeah, but Yoshi, Yoshi is hard. Yeah. If you want to play him like high level, you have to break your hands yeah, and like, sell your first son. He's pretty slow, and I think I feel like he feels slower in those games for sure. And, and then Ultimate, they gave him like he can go through platforms now. Yeah. So like, that's that's that a was buff. A, that was it's awesome. a good mix-up buff. That was different. Yeah. I like that a lot. All right. So uh, Inkling and Fox going Inkling on. Inkling and now. Fox. Who do you think's gonna win this one? Uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say God for now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just because he's been putting on a pretty good show so far. Why not? You can put yeah. the money where it's been. But I believe this will probably be the last uh, friendly we have on stream right now. After yeah. this, we're gonna start doing some tournament matches. So. so the tournament matches, yeah. So if you guys do want to keep track of the bracket and the tournament, we do have a link that I just posted in the uh, the description down below. If you guys do want to click that and and follow along and check it out. I know we only have five viewers right now, but this is not a Pokemon stream like you guys are used to, so I know that the viewership's not going to be as high as it normally is. Um, but I do appreciate you guys that are sticking around and watching the stream, you guys that are coming in and out. I appreciate you guys too, and you guys that are watching on YouTube later after this is uploaded like a regular video, and you went this far, I really appreciate that. But yeah, tournament's starting soon. Um, I wish I could have entered, but I do have a chemistry test uh, in the next hour. So Corey's going to take over the stream. I don't know how much he's going to talk and stuff, but you guys will be able to watch some sick fights while you're here. Um, so stick around if you can, and there goes Fox losing his first life. Yikes. Yeah. Oh. And, and then the oh. Inkling. Oh, man. Oh, okay. Inkling okay. is... Inkling's doing some stuff right now. Inkling's doing some stuff. Looks like Inkling's trying to build up his lead. He's gonna start... He's gonna try to stay oh, away, yeah. try to box uh, the yeah. Fox out. That Fox oh. is covered in paint, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The thing you want to do with Zinkling is just uh, keep people out and try to zone them, and then when they try to come, in, they try to come in, box them out with the insane aerials, and then during, during late game, for lack of a better yeah. term, you want to try to go for roller and uh, up the up airs to get those kill confirms. Um, but he's a very strong character, and so honestly, so is Fox in this game. Just there hasn't been a very there hasn't been a lot of representation of him. Just his yeah. his evil counterpart Wolf is just. Like, uh, I've is, noticed that Fox has not been in the game as much for sure. He still is insane. Um, it's, be it's because he's, gonna, he's very good at locking you down and forcing you to stay in shield. Now, I don't really know like the characters that well, but does, does Fox and Wolf, are they, are they mirror characters, shadow characters? Are they, are they um, different stats? And they... they're, they're different. Wolf is a little more uh, heavier. He's slower, heavier. His moves are a little bit safer. Um, and, uh, well, Fox is a little bit more about aggression and forcing your opponent to yeah. panic by... By throwing out all of your, throwing out all your quick <laughs> moves and forcing them to do something, an option that they don't need to do. And uh, ooh. yeah, dude, right. one character that I was surprised to see that I, I didn't really know about. I played against him in the last tournament while I was here. Um, seeing the Wii Fit Trainer is that's that's different. <laughs> yeah. That's different for sure. Like playing against that, I didn't expect to see that at all. Wii Fit Trainer is a fun dude. 
I wish I could. Uh, I wish I could play her well, but she's just a little too wonky for me. Yeah, it's a little too. Uh, oh, okay. The volleyball right. dude. I, I, I always jump into the volleyball every time, and it, yeah, it looks like England had this game from the start. Alrighty. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and head out and call off the tournament. Seven night team. We're about to call. All right, guys. The tournament is getting started, so right, stick around for this. So friendly is gonna be ending, and the tournament is going to be starting for sure. Hopefully, you guys are getting excited for this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get away from the mic for a little bit and uh, get things situated out. All right, guys, so the first match is going to be between Plemons and Sir. They're going to be fighting the first tournament match on the stream here. So hopefully you guys are ready to see this. I'm really excited to see what characters are going to be using. So just again to refresh the rules for you guys. So the rules are going to be three stock, eight minutes, and uh, we're going to have stage morphs and hazards turned off with the final smash meter and handicap turned off, as well as items turned off and the damage ratio set to one. All me's are legal, no spirits, pause is off, and all matches are best of three except for the winner's finals and loser's finals. Those are going to be best of five? Is a winner and loser finals best of five? Yeah, winners, losers, finals, and grands are best of five. Yeah. Well, I'm talking to uh, Demigod right here right now. So, dude, those hey. matches, you look pretty good over there, dude. Thank you, man. I'm yes. trying out here. So, uh, what what characters do you like to use mostly in Smash? So me, well in this game, I like Pokemon Trainer just because, like you, I love Pokemon. Pokemon is where it's at, my dude. So, um, and then I also play a little bit of D to D because I played them in the last game. Yeah. Uh, he's a lot better, but he's still kind of iffy, just being a heavy in Smash. That's how it is. Yeah. So now that the tournament's starting, like, are you are you ready to win some tournaments? Oh, yeah. Are you ready to get in there and oh, win? Yeah. So this first match we're watching here is against uh, Plemons and Sir. Here we got Plemons. Plemons probably going to be using Pac-Man. <laughs> Pac or Maybe. All right, so what's he going to go with right now? The stream's doing like a weird thing. There we go. Uh, just lagging a little bit because tech Wi-Fi is just yeah. a little little slow. Next time I'll set the latency down to a little bit slower so it won't take as much. So we got okay. Pac-Man and, and yeah. Pikmin. Pac-Man and then Olimar coming yeah. up Sir. Pac-Man and Pikmin. <laughs> That's so weird, dude. Yeah, this will be an interesting matchup. I don't think I've ever seen this play it out, really. Yeah. Not, at least not often. Yeah, so the way that uh, the maps are picked in this game, they do like a raw, paper, scissors to see who picks the matches. And the winner gets to pick. Uh, they get to do what? So how? explain it so, to me. So the winner of raw, paper, scissors gets to what we call ban a stage. Because yeah. we have a list of five that you can start on, that you can start your match on. Yeah. And so the winner of the rock, paper, scissors bans one of those and says they don't want to go there. The loser bans two, and then the winner technically bans one more and gets to pick. Yeah, so our starter, um, starter stages that we can fight on are Final Destination, Battlefield, Smashville, WarioWare, and Pokemon Stadium 2. And uh, WarioWare is by far the worst one on yeah. that. Dude, I hate we, WarioWare. Uh, we, we were testing some things. Uh, we're going to be changing it up here, re here soon. Um, just trying to test, see what stages sort of work and what don't. But it's sort of clear that that stage just doesn't really work. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, after whoever wins the match, um, the loser then gets to pick a counter pick, right? Right. Well, they can pick from the full stage list, which includes the starters and the counter picks. Okay, so they have the starter stages and they also have the counter picks, which are the Kalos Pokemon League, Town and City, Castle Siege, Yoshi's Island, and Lilac Cruise. Right. Yeah. So um, after they lose, they have to. They're able to also take off some of the counter picks as well. Yeah. So the, win so the winner, when they win, they get to ban. Right now, we have it where you can ban three stages, and we have something called uh, Dave's stupid rule. DSR is what we call it in the community, where you can't go back to a stage you already won. All right. So, so that's, then the yeah. loser, the loser gets to pick from that stage list after all the modifications.
So that's how the stages work. We do have a question in the chat over here right now. B-Man says, how does Dark Samus work? I don't think I've ever seen anyone use that character before. So Dark Samus kind of doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. She's, she's okay. Um, or he. I don't know what Dark Samus is, actually. Yeah. But um, Dark Samus is decent, I guess. You won't see probably too many people here using them. Maybe uh, there's a guy that comes sometime named Yaoi, or that's his tag. His yeah. name is Jacob, but he uh, sort of messes with projectile characters a lot. Yeah. And, you know, that's obviously Dark Samus' specialty. But, yeah, you really just, with her, or with Dark Samus, have to be patient and make sure you get all your projectiles on point. All right. So, guys, I actually have to leave now, so um, the stream is going to continue. Hopefully, Jimmy and Corey can keep you guys entertained while I'm gone until I get yeah, back. We'll so be, We'll be holding it down. Yeah, so there's the end of the first match. They're going to pick another stage and then go into the round. So it's best out of best out of three. So mm -hmm. if Pac-Man wins again, then, then it'll be. that's game. All right, so I'm going to go, yeah, and uh, hopefully you guys will the stream. I'll see you uh, maybe in about an hour or less. What's up, guys? So, it's Demi back, back again. With Hottest. Right now, we're in game two. We've got Sir versus Clemens again. The Pac Man and Megan, or not Megan, the Pac Man and Omar matchup. Um, for, yeah, Clemens was able to take game one pretty convincingly. I think that was a two or three stock at least. Um, but now, in game two, it's looking a lot more even. Oh, oh, we got, we got. Combos. We got, uh, what's that called? Galaga combos. Still pretty even between Sir and Clemens uh, here. We want to see Sir's probably going to be looking for a blue Pikmin up throw. Might kill down now. Or that up smash from Purple will do it. Sir taking the lead in this game, too. I think the stage layout here is going to be helping. Um, Olimar a lot more than Pac-Man. He can just sort of run away and throw his Pikmin however he pleases. Pac-Man's sort of going to have to play a little more adjusted on the stage. We got the double purple coming out from Sir. Uh oh, one of them got un unfortunate. Sir with the patience just really holding this lead. Off stage now, Plum's gonna have to go for this kill here. The down there is not gonna get it. We got an up smash from Sir. Uh, let's see what the legs trap option is. Oh, an Aaron Forrest smash is gonna get Sir back from. <coughs> Plum is able to even up the stock count at least. They're still got a decent lead, especially with Olimar being able to rack up damage like he is. Clemens is really just trying to get in and force some sort of options out of Sir that Sir is really not just giving to him. He's being very patient and sort of reacting. He's trying to get that kill though. Don't want to give it up. Don't want to seem too greedy for the kill. Yeah, he's approaching a little bit more. That live, he's at 63. That's big damage for him. And that. Bell to F smash is gonna take it for Clemens. Who is it really able to bring this match all the way back? He's gonna start on the offense here. But now they're gonna clip Sir. Got him off stage, got the back air. Okay, Sir recovers high. Gets out of that situation. Yeah, he's gonna wanna look for that blue grab. Have to get the up throw. Unfortunately, not gonna work out with that blue pick. Uh oh. Serge just sort of, he's got to get this kill soon if he wants to make this kind of run. Oh, almost. Clemens, 
in a similar setup, but I'm not, or so I'm not having any pigment. I'm not able to get that kill. And it's looking tough for him right now. He's gonna have to get a hard hit. Oh, but the key, the key will do it. And Flemings is gonna take that set 2-0. <laughs> What? And that's round one of our bracket here. Let's see. Alright, right, so let's see. We've got. This stream was lagging a little bit. But yeah, uh, thanks to everybody for showing up here. We got, who we got in the chat? We got a few people coming out. Glad to see you all out today. And big thanks for supporting the boy Unstoppableness. He's great. We, yeah, it's good that we have him here. He's been real nice about getting some vods up for us so we can study, go back over our sets, and we can maybe bring some entertainment to you guys. Um, let's see. Well, set we can get up on the stream set up next. Uh, let's see. Okay, next. I actually, uh, I think we're gonna get me. I'm gonna actually get up on the stream set up, and we might not have anybody to commentate this match. Uh, so if you guys will bear with us for just a moment, we've got some good actions coming up for you uh, so that you can enjoy that. But yeah, thanks for tuning in. Alright, next up we have Demi and Sai. Uh, Demi is the resident first seed here. And uh, looks like we're gonna go to straight back stage of the banning right now. Wanna help me cast? I can. I don't know anything about this game, but. Dude, that makes it that makes it fun. I'll give it a shot. Alright, with me we got Cole and I'm Corey or Presto. This is Drew. You already know. Probably can't hear me. Might be able to speak now. Dark Sam was picking on that character. She's she's pretty decent. Um, I she? think she's she's decent. I mean, I think she's solidly mid tier. And the camera uh, Sai, you need to scoot over towards Demi. He's got like half a face going on. Yeah, he's got half a face. Oh no, mind. We're gonna mess me. Oh okay. Yeah, it's flat. We're gonna get Snake and Demi Sword. Yeah, leopard prints. Thing. Yeah, that's kind of <laughs> optimal. I feel like right away we already know that Sai kind of has an advantage. He's got the right skin on. He does start off with the It's like Anti told me at ETS UConn, you gotta have the best skin because if you look good, you feel good. If you feel good, you play good. So I feel like on like three levels, he's already like up. So. I wonder, I wonder, I've always wondered how he does some of the turn but Yeah, it's it's the Immortals jersey, looks flames, and he always picks the optimal skins. That is true. You play, uh, you play, you play Bowser, right? I mean, do you use the gold, do you use the gold rim skin on this show? Um, that one's fucking, that, one, that one's real nice. I don't take, I don't use that one because that's what um, Travonical uses. Ah. I don't, I don't hog skins. I just, I'm using red, but. I just got done playing Wario and Young League. I've just been like memeing around with them recently. Do you still have the uh, the, still the all black hoodie, the the executioner? The yeah. Executioner? Yeah. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I'm just I'm over here talking about characters and not at all what's going on. 
I didn't know it either. I feel like it probably wasn't like DI super correctly because it didn't like have a spark or anything. I feel like it's really just like a battle. I feel like he's staying Ivasaur just because it's at least because then since uh, Snake has so many projectiles, at least Ivasaur can use Razor Leaf. Yeah, Razor's really good at spamming uh, campy play styles. Yeah. It's like a Falcon Laser in melee. Yeah, incredible utility, little end lag. Best character. I mean, Charizard, <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that. Honestly, if it wasn't for Charizard, I don't think Pokemon Trainer would be viable. I mean, how else would they get kills? I mean, yeah, you just side B in neutral. Yeah, that's, you, that's all you gotta kills. do. It's sick. Yeah, and if they, uh, if they shield it too long, just break their shield with side B. You know? Yeah, see? Yeah. Chase them on stage and contend with them. I was about to say, yeah, it's the starting to make. Well, okay, I was getting ready to say this is why Charizard sucks because he couldn't get down, but then he got down and got one back air and killed him. So that back air is I, insane. Yeah, so I guess it's you know pick your poison. Well, he switched over to Squirtle to get one of the juicy early percent combos. He's known for the uh, Squirtle's known for his insane combo game on most of the cats. Better to get down throw, up tilt, down tilt. He can get up to sixty percent. Switch over to Ivysaur. I feel like Snake just destroy any character that has a linear recovery. Oh yeah. With his like side B rocket. Oh my. Against Peach, it's actually it's like a one for one matchup. I actually struggle against the bench guarding. Literally, Snake is like basically like one of the characters that makes it like Bowser just super again. unappealing to play sometimes. <laughs> it's like Snake, um, whatever the Castlevania characters are called. Uh, Bel Simon that, and, that, the Belmont. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Let's go. Okay. Oh, never mind. Let's go, other player. <laughs> Let's go, Raskris. Let's go, Ashton. Let's go. Oh. One day I'll win a game. Dude, one day. Yo, do we actually have viewers on this? Yeah, dude. We got three watching right now. We got eight nice. beginning of the stream. We're gonna grow this. Grassroots, <laughs> <laughs> baby. Um, who can I get this? Hey, yo, Clemens. Can I get you to call out some matches? Why is it not on Twitch? Whose stream is this? Uh, stream is All right. Unstoppable. Uh, it's the, uh, I want to start the Pokemon Club. Oh, okay. Are you ready for when he, like, gets, like, a bunch of, like, Tennessee Smasher subs by streaming this? And then he just, like, turns up. He, like, he super stops coming and then just, like, starts a Minecraft YouTube channel. I mean, that's business. I wouldn't be upset. Yeah, he booked the guy who ran the Melee Hell Twitter. Like changing, just like getting like 10,000 followers and then just making it a personal account. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, looks like you switched over to Inkling. Do yeah, I probably. Uh, Drew can rest. You want me to just go play or you want me to chill here? Uh, you can go play. If someone else wants to hop on with me or uh, we can I can just play with Plummins. Either one. Do we have an open setup for it? Oh, let's go. I start playing snakes. I don't know if it was last week or this week. Yeah. But uh, either way, I think the snakes are honestly a good choice. You can't go wrong with them. Yeah, it's like you just figure him to take Falco or Wolf with one of those characters. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're good in this game, but last time I lost my plan for one day, he was kind of stuck on a bit of a good other character he liked. And Fox is different from the last game. He can't be as in your face the, the entire time. I just see Simon more as a, like a combo character main. Mm -hmm. Well, 
Get hit into grenade. Uh, That's true. That's a true combo, actually. Yeah. Frame one. Frame one pop off. <laughs> Frame one pop off. <laughs> All right. Oh, slightly missed. Gonna go for the bear pull up. Alrighty. Get the last stage. Great recovery by side. Very easy to do that. Use the directional air dodge to get out of the advantage. All right. So he's gonna sit on the back up or not. He has quite a bit of a mountain to climb again, standing right now with 170% and scratch that, a full stock down. What do you think of this matchup, Jacob? I think it seems kind of rough for either one. I think it's mostly Yeah, I don't know. I'd, I'd say Snake prefers to get a lead and, you know, wants to do his trade game. I, I really don't know, like, Snake or Inkling's matchup. I play Isabel and Villager. <laughs> I can't get past their uh, slingshot. It's insane. Nobody can get past their slingshot. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's the it's the character you want to play when you uh, don't want the other person to play. It's kind of like Simon and Belmont, you know. You make it. Simon and game. Belmont. Yes. Simon and Belmont. Simon the Belmont. Uh, do we have any open? Oh, to the game. Demi uh, took it two zero over Sai, and uh, we're gonna get some more matches back. Good guys. Let's see. Do more Pokemon Planet from Local Fit. I'm not sure exactly what Pokemon Planet is. Interesting, interesting. Uh, if that's if you mean for me to play more Pokemon Trainer, I will do my very best. <coughs> yeah, lemon. Plymouth plays Pac-Man and a little bit of Palutena. I don't know how Peach does against those kind of characters. Yeah, um, I'm not sure. But yeah, it's probably, we're probably going to see Daisy Pac-Man in the matchup. Um, that's not true. So yeah, Daisy Pac-Man. I don't know. I also don't know um, what they what teaching days they really want to do against Pac-Man. <laughs> yeah, but like, how? Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm not exactly sure, but we got the match right here on Smashville. I think I'm not sure who this stage benefits more. I'm thinking if I had to guess, maybe Pac-Man gives them. That platform in the middle lets him just sort of set up a wall, you know, with Hydrant and whatever projectile he chooses. And fair, fair. He just sort of, if anyone tries to come through that door in the middle, he just sort of fares you. Um, so yeah, like I said, right now, opponents are just setting up that house and not letting Presto get in. But Presto seeing that opponent's being a little aggressive, and then... Eat that, e e that F smash to the face. I can see it. Sort of try to play the zone game versus Pac Man. Yeah, don't, don't let him pull out the tree. As many projectiles for free. I get what you're saying. Um, but you know. We'll see. We'll see what Presto has in store. How, how much health does it take for the uh, Pac Man? Oh, the back throw? I don't think I'll possess the, uh, I, I also don't know, I think it's much more around 13 or 14. I'm not sure if it's the same or different in this game, actually. Yeah, that is true. I'm not 100% sure. We can ask Plankins on that after it's set. Um, but 
back throw will not get it. Get put this off stage. Well, any any good hit from Daisy will definitely take this Pac-Man stock. It's just a matter of giving it. You're right. Which has been sort of a difficulty for Presto in this match. Getting those hits. The shield pressure coming off opponents. Waiting on a roll or some other defensive option. Yeah, you see, he goes for the high ground and then he just charges through. He can try to just set up that house of projectiles on Smashville. Oh, but that four there will even. Oh, no, wait, it's not going to even work this stock in action. Still has, still has two stocks. Uh, but a couple of Daisy combos can definitely get it, but fail to force him to take like that first game for Primmons. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I'm not sure. I don't see Primmons trying to Yeah, I think there's not much need for him to swap off. Um, I don't know, we're getting the. Uh, idea of what counterpick stage you want to go to. I feel like a, I, don't, I don't even know how to counterpick Pac-Man, honestly. Well, I know he likes Kalos because he can do the similar thing. How, so Smashville, I think it's good for him because, like I said, he can sort of set up the house with Hydra and his projectiles and keep you out really well with that platform. He can just control that platform. I heard Lila. Um, I don't know how Pac-Man fares on that stage, <laughs> um, but I know Kalos is a, pa is a good Pac-Man stage. You can do the similar thing, not set up house necessarily, but just set up shot on those edge platforms. But we're going Lilat. Uh, we see the Pac-Man, like you said, coming out again from Plimbins. I know that the uh, um, ledges can mess up the, the little slant can mess up the uh, Yeah, that is true, depending on what is he is. See, we want to see a swap coming out from Presto. He's thinking about it. Pokemon trying to come does out. Does he have Pokemon? He does. He does. Um, I know he's been messing with this character a good bit. Um, I personally, playing Pokemon trainer, don't mind this matchup too much. Yeah. It's a little uh, difficult with some of the other characters. Squirtle can get in on Pac Man pretty well, but. I feel like Ivysaur can do pretty decent. Here yeah, too. Ivysaur just can sort of outcan um, Pac-Man. But I feel like Clemens is just too focused on making this Charizard work. Yeah. Oh, or I don't Presto. know how well he. Oh yeah. I don't know how well he's gonna do doing that. Uh oh. Yeah. Unfortunate thing coming out from him. Yeah. Presto. See, now we see, we got the hydrants. Oh, actually, well, this is not really like much. I expect them to sort of set back more with the lead he has and sort of just charge fruits, throw hydrants, but sort of still being in Presto's face a good bit. Interesting right now. Uh, he's, he's taking a momentum. Yeah. Three leaves. Okay. The hydrant almost taken. Uh, just barely missed time that uh, down there from uh, Ivy. The four there is a. Oh, Pokemon's going for some. Some clean Pac Man stuff. Where they're to them. Uh, what? Huh. What just happened? I think the late hit of Ivy's dash attack uh, hit the, hit the hydrant and made it. That was like. That was just a raw hit on the hydrant. How much. Like, no, it wasn't the full dash attack. Clemens also hit it. Oh. Yeah, and I think that didn't do enough to knock it, but then the Ivy Sword dash attack did. Yeah. The Flare Blitz coming out. I'm gonna get some decent damage, but the back throw will put Presto in a bad situation. Ooh, we got Bell to Bear coming yeah. out from Clemens, like a staple of Pac Man combo. One thing that when Presto switches to Charge R, does not switch him back. Yeah, um. Charizard sort of bad. <laughs> well, Charizard has a chance on that, but he's got tools. Um, in this matchup in particular, I don't like using Charizard as much unless uh, Charizard has a pretty decent advantage state. Uh, so if you can get an advantage, that's very vague. But if you can say get Pac-Man cornered and not allow him I to mean, sort of set up on you, you're doing well. <laughs> I 
Okay. If you can get Pac-Man sort of like in a cornered position, you can sort of go Charizard and pressure most of his options. Because whatever he sort of chooses uh, can get hit, can just lead to a kill from Charizard. But we see the Ivy coming out. Definitely the best Pokemon in the three. Um, I mean, I guess it also depends on the matchup. I would say. Oh. Okay. Ivy Sword. I think Ivy Sword is hands down. I think it's. Uh, the consensus is Ivy Sword is definitely the best thing. Yeah, I mean, like, in general. Yeah. Um, but, like. Oh, we got a hydrant key? I feel Not like gonna hit. Ivy Sword and. I'm not sure what that was that killed Pokemon Bear. I feel like Ivy Sword and Squirtle might be about even in this matchup. I can see it. Yeah, like I was saying, Squirtle can definitely get in on Pac Man pretty decently. Um. Okay, we've got some light combo coming up from Presto. If he's able to uh, get a few more good hits and he can actually even this up. If he can get a uh, Clemens off stage, Ooh, he can uh, that razor look nice. hit that Ivy Sword spike. Oh, the Nair, he's gonna put Ivy off stage. And the bell, oh, the now smash, reading the roll. Clemens getting that set 2-0. It was definitely looking like the makings of a comeback for Presto there, but... I just think that Charizard, man, he yeah, to it way he too definitely, much. Yeah, he definitely stuck on Charizard, and that hurt him a bit much. Pac-Man sort of just kept hitting him and hitting him. Also, hello, Galactic Dolphin. Uh, this is not Unstoppable. This is Demi. Um, he's actually right now for streaming for the Tennessee Tech Smash Club. Uh, we have weeklies. We've got weeklies going on every Monaco week here. Raspberry. Well, yeah, that, that's what weekly means, huh? Um, but yeah, he's he's at actually taking an exam right now. Uh, so thank you guys for tuning in. And no, you're good. You're good, Galactic Dolphin. Um, yeah, we're just we've got a Smash Brothers Ultimate Tournament going on right now. So thank you all for tuning in. Um, I am yep. not going to be participating in today's tournament because I have a horrible schedule for this. Yeah, this week we we have a we have a few new faces, but a lot of our regulars also weren't able to participate. But yeah, we gotta go random. Did you um swap swap to close up smashers? Um, close what? Right, the close ups on the sets. <laughs> There we go. Get you guys a good, uh, a good image of the scene here. So right now, coming up on stream, we've got Trombonicle and Razgrizz. I believe Trombonicle does heavies and cloud. Or no, did he drop the that's. Head? I think you're thinking Kevon. Oh yeah. Trombonicle. Okay. Did Trombonicle do Bowser. Trombonicle plays Bowser. And um, Razgrizz plays random. Well, <laughs> nah. I mean. You, we usually see the the game watch sometimes the Rob come out in different matchups. Um, depends yeah. how he's feeling today. I haven't seen a Rob in this I think game. You, you can swap back. Which one? Did he use match two? two. Yeah. Alright. Or yeah. Alright. Actually, you can go to TT Smash Rob. Right. So yeah, there you guys can see the stage we're going to. I wonder, it looks like we're going to a battlefield variant of some sort. Might just be random. Random battlefield? Yeah. Well, I think random on this setup is set to legal stages, so it'd just be random legal well, stages. Well, I mean random battlefield. Well, yeah. Uh, I think, actually, we're going to PS2. Pokemon Stadium 2. PS2. PlayStation 2. Yes, sir. Good. Get some... Yeah, it's looking, looking like we see um, the Bowser, like we said, coming out from Trump Monocle. I don't know how well. And we've got. Yeah, I think about Yeah, the Game of Watch coming out from Razgrizz. This seems like a weird Demi's matchup. Uh, Should yeah. I go to two? Yeah, I'm not exactly sure how this one goes, personally. Um, like I, I haven't seen it too often. I feel like, oh, I mean. 25. What can Game Watch do against? I guess he can do that. Yeah, you can sort of keep Bowser out with that, I guess. Yeah. But if Bowser um, gets a good hits in, they're so good in this game. Yeah, 
At least it looks, feels like it to me. Um, we got up throw four there. Okay, Trombone going with the Bowser. Bread and butters. Kind of fix that damage gap. Even though Bowser doesn't mind it too terribly much. Plus, uh, Game & Watch is a lightweight. Right. And with Bowser being heavy, the damage gap isn't going to be too effective in this matchup. Yeah, so this is like even, actually. Yeah. But the bat, oh, up throw, actually. Up throw up there. Nice conversion coming out from Lance Grizz. The back air landing here. And the oh, down there is Spike. Lance Grizz taking an early stock lead. Yeah, but Bowser can always just take these things right back. You're right, but I think at 55 using Game Watch, he's got a few percent to, to play with. That down there will get punished by the up throw. What a look is coming out of that, trying to punish the landing. We got the back here. So, yeah, at this percent, Bowser can sort of clean up whatever he chooses, but. I feel like a side B would come up now. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, they would. called it. Oh. Clean side B punish coming off of the monocle. We got Raz Grizz. Antron Mazen both had two stocks on this game one here on PS2. The forest one is going to get punished by a back air. I guess that's where Game & Watch's down smash is ridiculous in this game. Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of silly. Uh, I, I, cannot, I cannot see Game & Watch as a bad character. <laughs> like, he might have a few uh, bad matchups, but mm -hmm. he's definitely got Oh, some. the Nair, the Dragon up there. Very good reaction on Razgris to not continue that jab he had going because we know Bowser can sort of just, what they call tough, got through the down smash, fully spaced to get the ground. And the force smash is going to take that first stock. I still have no idea how to space that thing. I think it's at the very like tip of the hammers, they ground, and then the inside, what's crazy is because when the inside hits, they just send at a terrible angle if you, if you get sent off stage. So like whether you get the sweet spot or not, it's a pretty good move. The dash attack gonna actually beat out Bowser's up being. And then, yeah. That platform hard to get up punish. Tomarco's ready for that. Razgris coming with the night. Just sort of going wild with those up these up these and down airs. You can still still take this back. Yeah, definitely not too far off for Bowser. A down smash just in case. Wanted to get use of that invincibility because I throw out a fully charged one. See? Even if it doesn't ground, it sends out a pretty good angle. Causes a tech situation or just a bad angle off stage. Yeah, yeah. Four there coming out. Ooh. Oh, four smash from Tomonaco gonna miss. Razgur has got Tomonaco in the corner here. What's he gonna do? The four there and we'll just get him out. Dash attack pushing his advantage. Let's see. Oh, the up smash oh, that almost. Was, that might have killed. Yeah. Like, Game of Watch back throw is going to put yeah, Razgur's in a very bad position. They, they both are to get off ledge. Four throws, not going to do it. Yeah, definitely. Trump has brought this back pretty handily. The down smash will get side B. Yep, and that's going to do it. So Amazing comeback from Trump Models when they have to clutch that out. I have seen Razgur's use Belmont before. Mm -hmm. I feel like this might be a good place a good to choice. Um, I personally have seen him, but I'm not going to say he wouldn't do it. I think, I think, I don't think um, he should switch off. Oh, I'm not going to you know, say whether or not he should or not, but I, I think like he, he did pretty well with the game watch there. It was a pretty close match. He just sort of, towards the end there, the momentum swept up for Bowser. Uh oh, Wario Air actually. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Very interesting. Um, stay with the game. Stay with the game and watch actually. That's really surprising to me. So these, but I feel like Wario Air benefits Bowser a lot more than it does Game Watch. I agree. Um, uh, his side B kills super early. On yeah, because you can just sort of get on the platform and they're just dead. But, I mean, surely Razgrass knows something that we don't, otherwise he wouldn't have picked this stage. I mean, right now he's got, got a good percent lead, uh, similar to the first match, but we also know that that didn't mean too terrible much. Oh, just barely misspaced the down smash there. Razgrass does like to uh, go for the down smash. 
Yeah. A lot. It's a good move. I can't blame him. But yeah, right now sitting at a clean 16%. Up, make that 28. The up B, make it 40. Oh. And now to will actually take Bowser stock on WarioWare. That's wild. We got some, oh, almost getting that force match. Trabonco, we're gonna even this stock, or even this game up as soon as possible. But Razgar is not trying to give it to him. Just sort of, that, oh, that down there hitting through the platform, that's really good. Trombone, because he's gonna need to learn how to punish these down there. Um, probably gonna take a parry. Well, he's got, he's got, he's got a good, a good amount. That's how he got actually both the second stocks in the last game. Ah. <laughs> Punishing them with down B. I mean, side B, rather. Um, but even still, like, it's not the easiest one. Oh, and that side B will kill. Even up the stock count in this game, too. Yeah, I mean, I, I would have also assumed that this is a better Bowser stage, but Razgur's showing that it's not that much. It's not that bad for Game Boys. Yeah. That's a, that's a, that's a kill, yep. Now I'll smash four smash all day. Raspberry's yeah. Lambos. Does the red lightning just not work on this stage or something? I think maybe there it, it just barely killed or maybe it might have been a slightly off the eye thing. Not 100% sure. But that was smash. I'm not going to care about that down there at all. Raspberry's trying to get out oh, of this corner there. Uh, accidentally got that air dodge after the hit by Bowser left me. See, uh, not happy about that. Yeah. I don't think he has much to worry about though. He's if he keeps playing the match like he has thus far, he should be all right. Uh, but let's see what Trombone has to say about that actually. And look that, at that down smash seems safe on shield. That down smash is super scary. It really is. And the down there is gonna get him back off stage. Um, 52, oh, landing on the platform. All oh, the up smash just barely got hit by that down there. Yeah. Oh. Game of Watch actually is that like killer person, I think, here on the stage. Dash yeah. attack <laughs> is gonna hurt. What do we got? What do we got? The down tilt from deep, almost. The down there will do it, yet. Oh, oh. no! It was just Another? Oh, that's my. Okay, up B. Um, I think side Oh, yep, oh. that'll do it. That'll do it. Oh, man. Is that 2 0? That's 2 0 for Tom Bonacle. That, for all of you watching, was some actually crazy, crazy smash action coming out here. That feels so bad for It's wild. Like, it was so close. But, I mean, that's that's the risk you, you run as Game of Watch on WarioWare. Yeah. You definitely run. What was he? Was that 70, 80 maybe? Yeah, like 78 when he got hit. Yeah. Versus a Bowser at like 170. <laughs> Had a clean 100% lead, but it happens. Um, yeah, I know that all too well with the lightning. Wait, so man. Yeah. Um, yeah, so definitely good gameplay though coming out from both Razgrizz and Trombonicle. You definitely want to see Razgrizz be able to hold those leads though for all. Basically, that whole set, he had a lead in every game, but Tremonical and Bowser, just the the capability to, you know, come back with such those hard-hitting moves, said, oh, you have a lead, haha, that's fun, I don't care about it, here's a side B, you're dead. Bowser just got them hard-hitting moves. Yeah. Um, let's see, I think it's Tremonical. Okay. All right. So we're gonna get. I'm gonna actually be up on stream again, guys. So Hi. stay tuned. We got yeah. We holding it down. We're gonna have some more hype smash action coming out for you guys.
Head up works. There you go. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I would love to see Dark Pit too, Some Galactic PT Dolphin. <laughs> PT and Pac Man. Let's um, go. Okay. Three, two, Going to FD. All right. So let's see how differently this goes from Presto's match. Solid neutral game going on. Right away, I can tell you that Demi is not going to have such a reliance on Charizard in this game. So it's taking a lot of damage here. Yeah. The Squirtle can also put on a lot of damage. Okay, it's the ledge option. Dance your combo there. Trade in a neutral now. Yeah, just pretty much a back and forth neutral. Then he's got a little bit of an advantage. Clemens is in a pretty bad situation right now. He's kind of back though. Looks yeah. like Ivy's a little bit easier to combo. This was up. Alright, ledge situation. Oh, oh. That, that last. The bell is actually just crazy. <laughs> uh, let's see how long Demi stays with Charizard. Alright, we got a solid back air. A little bit too far up to land those flames for us. I honestly don't think he should be going Charizard at this low a percent. It's gonna be combo food. Yeah. I, I, he, I feel like he should be Squirtle at low percent just so he doesn't get hit once and go to 90 immediately. Um, but he played the character more than I do, so let's see how he pulls this thing out. Got a solid two dash attacks to 37%. <laughs> so Clemens has no kid lead right now. Um, Charizard can kill, but it's not very... He can't kill right now, but he has kill options. Flare Blitz might kill, but it's I don't be a hard know. read. With all that rage, it, it may be a possibility. Now that was a good trap. Oh. Solid back air to catch the end lag. Neutral. I'm just gonna throw things at each other, see who gets the first hit. Clemens is doing a really good job of getting at a disadvantage. He's not standing there too long. Really good at facing these back airs. Ivysaur. Last stock. Yeah, just, uh, Both are just dancing around each other. Still haven't really found that big opening. Yeah, it's only put seven Nice parry. <laughs> that was sick. I don't know how much that it really what? does for him. Double parry! Let's go! Parrying projectiles in this game actually not that good an option. But uh, very situational, yeah. I would say. It's not it's not a go to, but there are definitely times where you may just wanna Yeah, I mean like shield. something like a Samus's charge shot 
you definitely want to carry that. You don't want to take a straight on hit from that. But basically, kind of just take that to the shield. Oh, nice. Good conversion. Ooh, oh. situation. That's it. Is he alive? Nope. That's it. All right, good stuff to Clemens. Demi with the tag God. See ya. Yeah, it just seemed like Clemens was able to get a little bit more done off stage. Yeah. Plus, they, were, they were pretty much trading, I would say, overall. They were, they were trading the entire time, but Clemens was able to just kind of get a little bit more out of the options off stage. Well, I think Clemens is our only pack, pack, pack main. True. So, and true. it's just a weird matchup in general. But now we got some inkling action. Let's see what. Uh, this might be a better choice. I'm not sure. Um, I feel like overall, I think the speed that inkling has and being able to dash underneath the projectiles is going to be an advantageous situation. Right now, we're seeing that clearly. He's just getting a lot of dashing. I don't know why Demi crawls. Like, <laughs> I don't. I don't see it doing anything in this matchup. <laughs> Maybe like. Can beat it for it. Oh, that was a nice. I just taunt coming out. Luckily, we're on a Pokemon Stadium where Pac Man's still able to recover. Right. So, definitely a different tone for this first stop. Yeah. Clem is starting to turn up a little bit. And the main thing here is just Demi not letting Clemens charge the suit. Yeah, it's just very, very in your face. So, like, that's a big part of the matchup is just fruit denial. Ooh. Kill with his own hydrant. Betrayal. Top 10 anime betrayal. <laughs> I feel like Demi could have punished that, but he just kind of crawled away. What is Demi doing here? I think he's just backing away. I think he's really just focusing on kind of that whiff punish yeah. and waiting for Pac-Man to commit hard to some sort of projectile. Demi's so that he can really patient. Sometimes I feel like he's a little bit too patient. You just sit at ledge. Honestly, I feel like... A little bomb cover options. I want to see more, more Inklings go off stage, to be honest. I feel like they have real good stuff that they can do. Yeah, there's definitely good good options. Um, they're also just so good at trapping you with the bomb, like and just Jimmy, reacting to different situations. Jimmy is definitely doing that crawl for disrespect. <laughs> um, Jimmy at three stops, 110. Let's see how long, if he can keep it throughout the end. Clemens definitely has a mountain to climb here, but it's possible. You think can happen? I think it does. Don't think that side view is intentional. One thing about Pac-Man, if you can't get it uh, set up, you have a bit of trouble killing. Need to the boots because it's grab is really slow. <laughs> Option. He's just not landing those those ledge options either. Honestly, Demi's could, getting back on stage for free every single time. Yeah. Demi, Demi could be playing a lot more aggressive right now. But he's just keeping well, us safe. Yeah. He's also got three stops. Yeah, I, I, think he, got one. I think he wants to just do the three stop. <laughs> but like, he has the stops to play aggressive. Demi just backing away. <laughs> Demi not not giving his fruit back. <laughs> Those cherries are for inkling only. Ozzy 
Yeah, it's the neutral B. Ink one's best move. So far, this past oh, minute has been very slow compared to the yeah. pace earlier. Can't say it's benefited either character too much, though. Yep, the hatch was good. Alright, free stock's not gonna happen today. Let's see if he gets oh. JV3. That was a scary situation. I know. JV3 denied. Nice <laughs> oh, let's go, let's go. The combos. Uh, that's gonna get off ledge. What was that? <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's unfortunate. You know, I think he learned something towards the end of that match, though. I think he was, he was kind of feeling his footing a little bit. He was able to figure out what was working in that matchup. Oh, it's best. Oh, it's best of. Uh, it's best of three. It's one semis. It's one semis. Yeah, it's one one. Oh, one one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I didn't take first game. Close the way around. My bad. <laughs> my boy Clemens took the first game. Let's go. Good shit, Clemens. Let's go. Let's go, Clemens. Hey, just peachy stream, boy. I guess I'll see you in the uh, well. Yeah, we're not gonna get our Nintendo sponsorship if we curse. Good stuff, yeah. Clemens. Yeah. Let's, let's go, both players. We're so sorry. We are going to. Ban him from any further tournaments. I'm sorry you were kicked out of this club. Can at least come to the Christian Minecraft server? No. No, no cursing. No cursing, man. <laughs> Do what? I said, hey, if you're my character, maybe you get a bracket on it. Yeah. Hey, the bracket was right this time. Thank you very much. Yes, let me do one for eight. One for four. Alright, let's see what stage we're going to. I'm getting tired at 8 o'clock. <laughs> My roommate is rubbing off on me, dude. Alright. Looks like okay. we're going to Battlefield. I think. I'm gonna say back up. No, it's a big one. I think. England Pac Man again. If you want, uh, we can just do the rest of the match on the stream. Do what? We can do the rest of the match on the stream. Top of the bracket. We got a casual setup now? Uh, if we do the rest on there, then we have all stream. Yo, boy! Alright, let's go. So, what do you think about the stage Battlefield versus Pokemon in this matchup? Um, I don't know about it. I mean, I think it benefits Pac-Man a little bit more than it does Inkling. I feel like I generally agree with that. I feel like the platforms can allow for some projectile jank, especially yeah. with some of the, the strange trajectories. Plus, it gives um, Pac-Man some good camping opportunities. You can just run away, charge through, and uh, get it set up already. Oh, that was a, <laughs> that was a read and a half. Wow. Big conversion for Demi there. <laughs> All right, when this guy's opening. The uh, double shield and neutral. Smash four meta. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're just kind of dancing around. Still an even game. Game. The trades are gonna add up after oh. a while. Nice catch. And he got nothing off of it. But at least he didn't get hit. Definitely hard to use those projectiles if you're not used to the uh, the way that they the move. Uh, that was a nice uh, air dodge. Some solid stage control, Pac Man. Runs off stage, doesn't quite get the edge guard. They are even percent right now. Well, it's back and forth, yeah, it's just he's gonna take the first stop. Nice parry. Ooh, I like it. That was sick. Nice. 
DPZ. Both at very high percent right now. Ooh, all right. Clemens loses first stock. However, Demi is at a very, very high percent. Practically anything is going to knock him flying. Yeah. So if Demi can keep this, he can keep the rage, gets a, a good roller at 80, he might just kill. Definitely a possibility. Let's see if Clemens can convert here. I don't know. Just roll a stack with rage. Um. Rage I'm not sure. No comment. Clemens is just having a little bit of trouble getting that kill. Thinking that he's throwing a grab out just big. There we go. Nice. Two hundred percent. Still practically an even game. Yeah. Some up airs. Just trading back and forth. Yeah. Ooh, good conversion, good conversion. No tech zone. Oh, he read that jump and he read that air dodge. He just couldn't quite get the position. When he read that lighting. Demi is pressing the speed pad. The disrespect. The BM in tech smash club? The BM? Yeah. Bow movement? I mean... Oh, that F smash though. I right. actually do not know any of this kind of jargon. <laughs> Lingo. Whatever these kids are calling it these days. Alright, we still got a little ways to catch up for Pac-Man. Then he's got a pretty solid lead now. I'm having trouble getting that dash attack to land. <laughs> as we all as we all learned from Mario Sunshine, water washes away the ink. Yeah. Was I don't think it was ink in Mario Sunshine, though. So. It's like the closest thing, I guess. Yeah. Evil juice. Evil <laughs> juice? <laughs> oh, nice. Using that but oh, great projectile usage by Clemens. That was fantastic conversion. Oh no. <laughs> Demi is I got a feeling that right that was now. not intentional. <laughs> no, that was definitely intentional. Oh, this man. Here I am trying to be the nice guy, giving credit. Oh, no, Demi. Oh, we got a blue Pac Man. No. I don't know what the blue ghost is. I'd be making a reference right now. But. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> like this. All right, this does not look like a great option. Maybe we need to mix up. Here we go. Uh, doesn't quite get the dash attack. Oh. And that's it. Man. That was honestly pretty close in a lot of ways. I feel like yeah. Clemens has learned a whole lot. Boy, Clem's growing. Yeah. He's going to be a force to be reckoned with soon. <laughs> We're just waiting the whole time for Dimmy right. to get that taunt to get body combo. Well, I'm gonna swap over to the other side. Alright. I tried, but I guess I did something. Hi, this is Plemons. Now you know the sound of my voice. You know it's me. This is Hello. the Pac-Man. The one and only. It is. I will never quit. I will never stop. Pac-Man for life. Just like I won't stop playing Bayonetta, even though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't shit. Kill. But hey, man. Hey, man. Tamim and Lima, they are there with you. Tamim? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a uh, mistake. Mistake. He changed his name to Tamim. Or his tag, not his name. I'm sure his legal name is still the same. No, don't you know my legal name's Yaoi? <laughs> I'm sure. Mm -hmm. All right, so here we go. We got uh, Demi and Trombonicle in a winner's finals. Demi starting Yeah, winner's finals. All right. All right, Pokemon trainer and Bowser. Interesting. We got a heavy matchup here. Mm. 
I feel like Ivysaur might have been a better choice here, but we'll see. I'm also, well, I don't know, I'm sure Demi has a plan. We're starting out with this uh, big dragon. He does have these really big normals like we're seeing right now that are able to sort of contend with Bowser's very intimidating forward air, jab, etc. I know Demi hates Bowser. <laughs> I know Demi also hates Charizard, so... Yeah. <laughs> uh, breaking out, oh. that was almost nasty. That would have been and amazing. Very unfortunate, but uh, luckily, uh, that get-up attacks are not that strong. We are all good. Man. Right now, Demi has just been able to capitalize on Bowser's big size and keep him in disadvantage. Oh, and that back air is so intimidating. It has so much range, and the multiple jumps makes it very tricky when it is going to come out. Alright. Trombonicles. Trombonicles trying to get something going here. He tried to shield grab that, but there was just too much pushback on the shield. And Trumponico's just kind of getting... Oh! Oh, no! Okay, oh. I don't think a... <laughs> that stinks. This is oh not my a good I mean, he's, he's still got options. Um, I don't know, man. After you get Charizard's fight. Yeah, I think it's very interesting that Demi has stayed oh, he's Charizard the whole game. Yeah. And, <laughs> Trombonicle has done a good job of Dude, getting back to the stage. Right now. He... I, I think he's playing the game. Oh, that is a good tech chase. Gosh, it is such a devastating tech chase. Wow. Ooh, I, I, I didn't think Charizard was the best option uh, here. That was... But Demi worked it. I mean... I know Demi plays King Dedede as well, so I think it's interesting that if he wanted a heavy, I feel like he could have gone for Dedede, but instead he goes for Trainer, specifically Charizard only, which is just a wild decision. But uh, it's it's definitely turning out here. I think he did a fantastic job of keeping Bowser in disadvantage. I think uh, Bowser's body is just so big. Dark Pit. Ooh, ooh, Dark Pit, let's go. Let's go, Dark Pit. Oh, thanks, Galactic Dolphin. I'm happy you enjoyed my fight. All right, here we go. Let's see I... if uh, Trombonicle can pull something out here with the Dark Pit. Noticeably, Demi is definitely opting to not stay only Charizard against Dark Pit. That is very much a matchup specific thing. Honestly, I think that was just a disrespect. I don't know. No, I don't think so. I don't know. Uh, I think ba Charizard just had the big normals that were strong enough to keep pushing Bowser back and uh, kill early because you know that's something really scary. But let's but focusing on the matchup right now, it's pretty even so far. A nice switch to get out of that combo. I have not seen much hit or dark hit play in general in this game. Um, there is one or two uh, pit slash dark hits at uh, the Vanderbilt. Uh, regionals, not too far away. We, I saw one or two when I was there this Saturday. But uh, yeah, it's just that uh, the character has to work pretty hard for his combos. And uh, neutral is not amazing. Like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm, I don't know enough about the character to be talking about it. But I know that in the beginning, um, Kid and Dark were one of the characters I was interested in. Also in the beginning, I had no interest in Isabel. Gosh, everything of Charizard has so much knockback. That F tilt is gonna take it. All right. Demi is definitely playing safe right now. He knows he has the lead. Trombonicle's trying to get something going, but he's just falling into the trap that Demi is setting. Ooh, and he's setting up this edge guard situation. Okay. Not, not not quite fast enough on the reaction, but I definitely see what he was going for, trying to push the opponent off stage with Squirtle and then end it with Ivysaur. Yeah, I feel like Ivysaur's down there is just devastating for Pet because of his super linear recovery. Trump Trombonicle might not be thinking um, his ledge options through as well. That side B was very suspect. 
here we are on stage. That arrow is doing good job keeping Ivysaur from Razor Leafing because it will just get to Ivysaur faster than the Razor Leaf will get to Dark Pit. Which is something I had not consider. Ooh, that bad guy almost gonna take it. Oh, so close. Oh, Jimmy doing a good job of staying alive. He is. He's he's playing super safe. He's just tacking on damage. Tacking oh, that on damage. was not super safe. And that's a side knee. Ooh, uh, not sure if the up smash was intentional, but uh, yeah, either way, Demi is uh, quickly cleaning up that mistake. Uh, it's now two to one. Trump. Demi is just doing his signature wait and see strategy, and uh, Trombonicle is trying to just dance around, make it look like uh, well, he's gonna hit something. Let's see here. All right, wow, good spacing with these aerials. Yeah. Are they still having a better disjoint here? Yeah, which, which is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Considering it's part of his body, but that back air is so hard to deal with. And wow, it is it is crazy. Uh, Trombonicle just pulling out these side bees uh, when Demi is obviously, uh, I guess, in landing situation. It's interesting. Um, it feels like. Dark Pit just has some tools to get around this Razor Leaf camping that Demi is trying to do to tack on this damage and extend his lead. But it feels like Demi is just able to get more hits in than Trombonicle. All Trombonicle's, well, as I say that. Yeah, what is Demi doing? There? A lot of arrows coming out. There's a taunt. He knows he has a lead. He knows he can afford to <laughs> go to the Pokemon Stadium 2 platform and taunt. And he's just taking these arrows, sort of uh, pressuring Trombonicle into an option. But honestly, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of options for him. Like, yes, he's able to get these arrows, but how is he going to end this stock? Because he needs to end not just one, but two, but it... Oh, he's living? Wow, I did not know. Oh, and he finally got that down there on the edge like guard. Like I said, that's really the scary for characters with linear recoveries. Yeah, it really is. Um, you have to be very intentional about changing up your timing, which is a luxury that Dark Pit and Pit just really don't have. I mean, they have multiple jumps. They do. Um, but there's so much startup on the up B that I feel like it's pretty reactable. I may be underestimating the amount. Yoshi. Oh, okay, we're seeing a third character pick from Trombonicle, one I have not seen before, his Yoshi. Uh, we'll see gonna, how this goes. You're gonna see some buttons pressed. <laughs> yes, Yoshi <laughs> does do that from time to time. Uh, you're gonna see some up Bs. It's definitely a character that is going to be able to get in better than Dark Pit. Yeah. Um, Yoshi with that aerial mobility just... <laughs> and those down airs, dude. They um, do so much damage. You win one interaction with a down air, and it makes up a lot of ground. Um, definitely a character that I think is capable oh! <laughs> of comebacks. Oh, that's unfortunate. I... I'm gonna be honest, I didn't play Brawl that much. I have no idea how Squirtle's side B works. <laughs> I, I actually didn't see him until a couple seconds. Yeah. He was on his back. Ooh, and it is sort of hard to punish Yoshi's landings because, again, he's so fast in the air left to right. He has safe aerials on shield, and he has that down B that can go through platforms. You think you're safe under there, but you're not. And it will chase you. Oh! oh nice conversion. Sick kill confirm. Meteor forward air on the ground to up air. Let's go. Trombonicle. He's making it work. Right now, he has a lead for what seems like the first time this set. Oh, and, and there it goes. That is, that is going to remove that lead. But this is still working out better than any other character we've seen from Trombonicle so far. Let's see if he can push it. Demi. Oh, that Charizard up tilt just covers the whole platform. That's absurd. Ooh. Ooh, that was crazy. Oh, I don't know what confusion happened there, but he got that almost fully charged down smash. That's insane. Um, yep, Demi using that back air once again to cover the entire Pokemon Stadium 2 platform. All of Charizard's moves are so big. That's going to be a down throw because he's not an up throw kill percent just yet. Ooh, crazy. Yoshi is a heavy boy. Yoshi got away with that upward air dodge because of his incredible uh, horizontal mobility, but that up throw is going to take this, especially off the Pokemon Stadium 2 platform. 
the lead that Trabonicle had at the beginning has soon disappeared, but it is not to say he's out of it yet. We have a little left. Trombonicle may benefit from getting Demi off stage, but we have not seen that situation happen very often because Trombonicle just hasn't been able to land any strong hits. All the hits they landed are little pokes that uh, put Demi into very short disadvantage before he gets right back up and puts Trombonicle into this just meat grinder of a neutral once again. Oh, what is happening okay, right now? Okay, uh, straight string glitched out a bit, but we're good, we're good. Oh, okay. that grab. Oh, the vine whip. Why? That is so strong. Why is Pokemon Trainer not on the stage? <laughs> this is like Pokemon Stadium. He should be on the stage. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's too dangerous. He's, he's got to keep her moved, you know. He's got to he's got to keep himself safe. That's dangerous conditions for these Pokemon fighting I think fighting I'm going to uh, check off of this. All right. I'll leave you guys with Clemens, or I guess I'll just leave you guys alone. I'll just uh, pull down. And we're back. And we're back. All right, so uh, our next matchup, I believe, is a loser semis match uh, between Sai and Razgriz. Um, both definitely skilled players. Sai has been rocking out a snake that he's been working on recently. And uh, Razgriz, I believe, is still trying to make this game and watch work. And I have to say, uh, he's, been, he's been getting in tournament with it. So... He definitely is for now. I know if he feels pressured on his Game & Watch, he may go rob, but we can definitely expect to see a Snake and Game & Watch matchup first off, I think. Yeah, I'm excited to see how this goes. I feel like these guys will have a good good fight coming ahead. Um, as far as the actual characters, I, I honestly can't say. I guess Snake, technically speaking, has an advantage. Um, if we're talking absolute top level play, but as far as where we're at, honestly, I could see it being kind of even between Game and Watch and Snake. I do know Game and Watch has the benefit that uh, his buckets can absorb any of Snake's explosions, yeah. um, which could be very dangerous um, if he gets a full bucket. We'll, we'll see if uh, Razgris is skilled enough uh, with the matchup to do so. All right, 100% uh, missed our um, stage, so we're on Pokemon, let's go. We are on Pokemon Stadium too. All right, okay, Razgur's getting off to a swift start but getting stopped by a grenade, which may be a common theme. Let's take a ride on the Nair plane. Oh my god, oh, these combos. No. This these is conversions. something to consider in this matchup is that Snake's disadvantage is somewhat weak if he's not able to like get a grenade or if the grenade doesn't stop the combo. So we may just see Game & Watch running over Snake repeatedly. Raz is definitely going to have to watch out for trades because it's going to be a huge disadvantage, especially for Game & Watch being so tiny. Oh, good reaction on Sai to make sure that he did not uh, get just give Game & Watch that C4 explosion. All right. Sai's bringing it back. Yeah. This is also dangerous for Game & Watch when he's not in advantage because he is one of the lightest characters in this game. I don't know where exactly he is now that uh, Pichu is added into the mix and such, but he is still going to die very early. He's 100% at kill percent. <laughs> <laughs> he absolutely is. A back air, an up tilt, certainly. And it's going to be a little bit hard for Razgris to secure a kill. He's definitely going to have to rely on maybe that down smash setup or just a hard read, honestly. It's going to be a straight hit's really not just going to kill snakes. That's true. Um, I know that a lot of Game & Watch's neutral is aerials, 
So, Psy might be looking for that up tilt. Oh! Up beat right into Nikita. Amazing. Great placement by Psy. Yeah, amazing catch. Psy smartly uh, detonating that C4. It's been there for a while, making sure it doesn't accidentally blow up on him. All right, we got two thirds of a bucket. It's it's coming, but for now, uh, Psy is doing this lead well. All right, looks like neutral air will kill at 200. <laughs> Never mind, yeah. <laughs> uh, you'll, you'll be so surprised what will kill when you're at 180. Uh, <laughs> but Psy is still holding on to this lead. Raspers has really not been able to just get right. on the rampage like he was on the first stop. Yeah, if you notice, Psy was actually pulling out those grenades in the middle of the combo, and it was kind of combo breaking there. So. Ooh, I think Game & Watch has a full bucket now. Psy needs to be All extremely right. careful about that. That could kill yeah, right I, now. I feel like he actually may be a kill percent. I don't know if he knows any setups. Well, um, that's what we were talking about earlier. That up tilt going to kill very early on the light game and watch. Up tilt's going to be a horrible, horrible thing to deal with for game and watch. I agree. Um, ooh, amazing spot dodge from Sai. I thought he got hit by that down. Nice for reflect. A oh, he must have lost the bucket. I, I don't know if game and watch automatically loses the bucket when he oh, dies. No. But he no longer has it if he just used it to reflect that grenade. Yeah, that's good a, point. That's a major tool that Razgris just lost out on. It might benefit him to just play a little bit slower to try and fill up the bucket again because it's a comeback factor that is going to make this match very possible. Definitely. As well as whenever he has that bucket, he doesn't need to save it. He really needs to just toss it out there. Yes, um, that bucket is also going to be a saving grace for Game & Watch off stage because it Puppet. will reflect Ooh. the... Oh, that's unfortunate. So I was holding All a right. grenade. Raspberries can do this. It's definitely possible. He can do this, but... He's going to have to not get hit, basically. He, he is at Super Bowl. <laughs> and that's how you get hit. <laughs> yeah, that's not safe. In the words of La Luna, that's not safe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that is the first game going to Sai and his snake. Uh, I definitely... Well, I know Sai is going to stay. Uh, yes. I thought it wasn't until the loser's finals. Oh, best of three. Best of three, first of two. Okay, this is a best of three match. So. Best best of three matches. First to get two wins. Uh, yes, best of three is the same as first to two. Well, we got a break. Galactic Dolphin. Yes, I did play Dark Pit. Yes, I did get bodied. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. Looks like we're going to, to... Was that WarioWare? Did we just select WarioWare? Ooh. Tech Smash? Interesting. An interesting choice. Um, I'm down for WarioWare any day of the week, even though I almost lost <laughs> and I consistently lose on the stage. I still just love it. The, the match is definitely exciting when we go to WarioWare. Um, let's see. I, I guess Sai had more important things to ban. I don't really know what impedes Snake. He might have just uh, assumed that Razgrills was not going to pick it. <laughs> That's so. also a valid option. But I saw Razgrills playing on WarioWare earlier this tournament. Yeah, you're right with me. <laughs> So um, I think that uh, he may think that this is a very favorable stage for Game & Watch. Um, having played him, I would agree with that. Uh, <laughs> down air is really strong on this stage. Um, berry setups are really strong to kill. So, I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of good things that Game & Watch surprisingly has on this stage. That's fair. Also, last match we saw Razgrills having a serious problem with ending uh, size stocks. And that is something that WarioWare can definitely alleviate. Yeah, no issue here. He's just got to make sure he doesn't get hit quite as much. <laughs> All right, that back air, an amazing move. Just so safe. Uh, it's disjointed. Here we are. It's much more even in this game. Yeah, Snake's so definitely far. at kill percent right now, especially with that rage. That's true. And Ooh. we see it. Wow, that is a strong down air on this stage. Now, fortunately for Razgrizz, the bottom blast zone is actually pretty low. So he's able to get those down air conversions without the risk of SDing very much. I see. Ooh, Game Watch going to explode off of that snake F tilt. All right, we're back to a fairly even game here. Let's see if Razgrizz can convert. 
uh, Nair playing. He is Nair to Nair. I'll, I'll be almost connected. That is something that uh, Game & Watch has, is that his up aside from being a very fast uh, recovery tool, is also just useful for extending combos. Also, uh, Sai's, like, best kill option, arguably, in this matchup. As a matter of fact, two of them are up tilt and C4, both of which send you vertically. And although this stage is definitely uh, easier to kill horizontally, it is no such help vertically. Yeah, it's actually, um, I believe, medium or medium tall wow. as far as the ceiling is concerned. So, Okay. Sai still does have his F tilt, which is a very strong option and a very quick option, especially out of shield. We'll see if that comes into play. Razgris, though, able to extend this disadvantage pretty well. It's still neck and neck on the second stock. Definitely even. All right, we get a kill. That back air will certainly see how much uh, bonus damage Razgris can get here before he loses that stock. Yeah, it's certainly very dangerous. He could lose it at any second. See, at this point, Sai's really not going to want those grenade trades because he's just losing out a lot, but he manages to get that back air to seal it. That's true. Sai actually has a lot of experience with close-up and personal characters, and I think that gives him some really interesting takes with uh, just randomly <laughs> snake back airing and covering options that you would not ex expect a snake to do so, so personally, I suppose. Ooh, nice on that C4, hitting below the platform. It does do that if you don't know. Now you know. Alright, we're again fairly oh. even game. This is really a neck and neck situation here. That back air, usually a great kill option and edge guarding tool from Game & Watch, is not strong enough to hit Snake off of his upbeat. And now Razgris is back on stage and trying to do some damage, so much damage off of that down air. Alright, and now the tables have turned. Wow. And forward tilt seals it. like 80. Wow. Close games, though. Close if games. Very close games. Obviously, neck and neck. That whole second game could have gone anyone's way. Snake, Definitely. Snake just happened to land a very, very strong move with his very well-developed arm muscles. That was 2-0, correct? That was 2-0. Uh, four side. He will be moving on to Are you still playing games? losers' no. like we got semis. Clemens and Droog. Oh, oh it's me. Guys on stream. All right. Uh, yeah, I guess they're playing friendlies. All right. I will be <laughs> on stream with Droog in a second. Yeah, definitely. Let's go, man. Good shit. Good shit. That is I believe, the first time I've played Ashton in brackets. Ashton's actually really fucking good. Yes, yes he is. It looks like we got some Drew Clemens action. Yes. Drew has not been playing Bowser A today. Disgusting, disgusting Bowser, man. Well, he's not been playing Bowser. Actually, he's been playing some Young Link. I saw mm -hmm. earlier. So, mixing it up on me. The youngest of the links. Alright, so... Definitely gonna have a Pac-Man out here. We'll see Young Link Pac-Man. Not 100% sure on this matchup. I don't know if anyone is. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've ever seen uh, Palutena Young Link. Or not Palutena, um, Pac-Man. So, I feel like... Seeing Pokemon Stadium Dos. At this level, honestly, I could see Pac-Man having an advantage just because Young Link struggles to kill so much. Yes. Lots but, of opportunities to pull out the fruit against a uh, projectile camper such as Young Link. Yeah. I'm not sure exactly how Drew likes to play his, his young link. Drew's definitely going to want to look for a lot of arrows to just quickly interrupt the, the charge on the fruit. It will be quite interesting to see how this turns out as these goopers take oh. three years to Let's start the go. match. Let's get some... Oh, no names? Let's delete something. Yes, we just deleted Denny. <laughs> it's alright, he doesn't know. 
<laughs> They'll find out eventually. All right, now the, the real story is what controls do we got going on here, okay? Tilt stick, right, naturally. Let's, let's investigate. Is that, is that all we're doing? Is he doing the melee? He's got the tap stick Turn off the stick on. jump. He's still got tap jump on. My god. What an what actual you? savage. My god. Does help with Uppy out of shield. That's the only good thing I'll say about it. <laughs> I don't know, does it still help though? Because now you still have to coordinate both buttons. So I feel like I don't even know if it helps anymore. You know, let's. Since you don't have to jump. Stop out. talking about tap jump. <laughs> what a disgusting. Alright, so we got Yink and Pac Man. On Pokemon Stadium. And we're gonna see. Everything's good, everything's good. Quickly oh, yeah. with the projectiles. All right, some Groove quick damage here. Up. Well, what am I seeing? Up. Oh. Okay. Ink's got control of Center Sage. Looks Groove like Drew is just keeping this man in the corner. He's not letting him out. Yes. Very difficult to get up from the ledge in this situation. Lots of punished approaches. So far, we've got almost ninety percent unanswered. Trying to use Hydra to land, but it's not gonna. Drew spaces around it for a really good tech. Drop shield. Ooh. Quick conversions. We gotta take those. We've got a we've got a combo going. He's looking to get something. Oh wow. What an early kill. <laughs> Alright. Unfortunate. So far we've got two projectiles in the wrong direction. I don't know uh, what Plenty's is doing here. He's just uh, giving him a little message. <laughs> oh, I thought I got you. Dash attack, looking to get some more fruit. Rolls in, no punish on the tech chase. Ooh, nice convergence with the uh, excellence. Doesn't find the B. Jab's gonna look to get an edge guard here. Catch the landing, doesn't find it. Water helping the roll from ledge, giving him that boost. Recovering Pac-Man is hard. Ooh, well, that was an opportunity. Stay for Yink. Oh, clips him with the up B on the way up. And we're back to neutral. Oops, back air. Pretty even. Oh, well, spoke too soon. Nope. Pretty even in percent, but looks like Lemon finally secures that kill. He's looking for it for a while. He's got a lot of percent on him, but he's no longer at a stock deficit. Drew looking for this edge guard. Like, looking to extend that lead. Off of the hard read F smash. Well, doesn't find it though. Eats a punish. Good failed tech chase. SDI out of the smash smash. Yes. Hydrant take control of center stage and then just leaves. Ooh. Excellent. Key into Man. death. They're actually killed there. Wow. Yes. Very strong for him there. Young Link does not struggle to kill. Possibly. Maybe. Alright, now we're just kind of dancing around each other with projectiles. I feel like Young, Link, percent. Young Link's actually going to have an advantage here in this kind of situation. Nice. And we're bas basically an even game. Yes, forward smash going to clean up that stock. And 48%, not terrible. Definitely doable. Just staying on him, gets a combo. Doesn't find anything with the birdie. Yeah, those girls are just shutting out the charge on fruit. Punish on the up B. Yeah, he's not really punishing that down here. I feel like he could get a grab or a dash attack or something. Oh! This is the grab. Nice! Gets the conversion and. That was a pretty close game one. Yeah, definitely. If you look at the stream setup, it actually is. Ah. Yeah. That's what they're saying, and this is what we're recording with. I have received the knowledge.
I was wondering how you were, because this is stuttering, and you were still going on. Did not see the. Okay, we got a solid five people. Let's let's hear it in the chat. What's what's going on here? Oh, we got four people. I'm sorry. Looks like a 20% of our chat just left at that exact moment. Volunteer cars. All right, looks like we're going to Smashville for our stage. Oh, Smashville. Hmm. What do you think that is? Um, I feel like maybe the platform in the middle will allow for some combos that Pac-Man's looking for with these kind of weird, weird projectiles that he's got with the Galaga thing and the bell. Um, Might also help with the Get the Inkling swap. Interesting. I feel like Young Link was kind of cleaning up, so I'm curious to see what uh, Inkling's going to pull out here. <laughs> Dancing around each other and neutral. Gets an F smash. <laughs> that man just rolled into his face. <laughs> gonna look for a hydro conversion. Who eats an F smash for it instead? And these people are too aggressive little gamers. They're definitely pressing some buttons right now. Yes. Oh! The rebuttal. This is my hydro. <laughs> 96% Yeah, it's like Drew hasn't quite found his footing with Inkling gets no follow up from him, unfortunately. Doesn't punish the tear deck. We're gonna see an edge guard here. Off for the three instead. And just... I'm really trying to close out this stock, get that early lead. Gets the stun. Unfortunate. Needed that execution there. That definitely could have been a kill. Got some fruits. Drew looking to even this back up again. Punishes the air dodge in. Looking to catch this land. I like the use of the roller to extend the combo. Yes, it's very good. And unfortunate. I'm not sure if that was just unrecoverable. That was I wonder if he started the trampoline maybe a little bit too Back like, row, uh, quickly uh, evens up that mistake though. Alright. Quick little neutral exchanges. We got a lot, of, a lot of back airs coming out from uh, the very safe. Sort of just do it. It's the hydrants. Gets grounded, but unfortunately not able to follow up the tray. Ooh. Now see, I like the up air combo, but I feel like he backed away when he didn't need to. I yeah, feel like he, he definitely could have pressed forward. Press so maybe he feels he doesn't need to so get too awesome. It's pretty even right now. Get up attack, steals the deal. Looking to get back. Oh, and that was punishable. Yeah, you definitely got to watch for those situations. Just letting him have the leg for three. He's looking more to get stuff off the leg trap. And, although this is the first hey, use hey, of hey, bomb we've seen this I match. Mean, Excellent pet. A few more percent, that might have been impeccable. So. Gets the down air conversion. And Flemings. Definitely feels weird. Definitely feels weird when down air kills you off the side yes. instead of going down. <laughs> Although the end result is the same. Ooh, grab roller, F smash, the it's classic. And we're back to even more. Get something off this group. Huh? Get the combo. That's something. Nice near out of nice. shield. Catches the air dodge. We're gonna get this landing. Gets the grab. Yeah. It's a risky position to charge that fruit because then he was forced to air dodge, which is what forces Drew to react there. And a lot of percent for that fruit. Tries to hunt him down with a oh, big combo. A combo. Finds oh, his death. Does he get the conversion? Mm -hmm. 
like Pac-Man may not be the, the right way for the up smash yes, there. Sweet gets the stun, can't get there in time. And Drew is really looking for the roller. Back air, sends him the long way. <laughs> Very close game, all it takes is one hit at this yes, point. Or last stock last hit. Key doesn't find it more. I didn't even know he had the key. That was surprising. We just need to go for something safe here. Yeah, back throw gonna do back it. Throw will do it. Yeah. And we have a 1-1 one, one situation. All right. Yeah, I'm not sure if Inkling was 100% the choice there. Uh, I feel like it, towards the end he definitely found his footing, but there was definitely a good stock and a half where it was a little bit uh, yeah, wishy washy. Yeah, there was definitely some strength. So we'll see. Might have a character swap situation. Let's see what Drew's counterpick will be in this situation. Honestly, I have no idea. I have no idea what's a bad Pac-Man stage, so, or what's a good Inkling stage or a good Youngling stage. It would be interesting to see. We're seeing FD. Okay. Back to the young link. All right, I agree with this decision. I feel like Drew got a little bit of the download with the with the inkling, but young one's gonna be the guy to seal it. Looking to really punish with projectiles, and there's no platforms to escape to. Really just throwing out these fire arrows, making Clemens approach him, which he does willingly. It's 34 and keeps it going. Yeah, does not punish the air dodge though. Repeatedly landing right in front of him, getting those shield grabs. But we got a combo situation here. Oh, uh, can't quite convert. Heck, Chase. No, it's not. It's everything. Did he convert this? Got him off stage. A B to get him off. Oh, you know it's like Clemens got the DI that time. He was able to get away from uh, the follow-up. Forward smash outranged the Pac Man grab. Ooh, Apple almost seals it. Wow. Oh, no. Arrow's, Arrow's definitely going to be oh, Drew's I friend here. Wow, doesn't kill. He's got the key. He's probably looking. Yes, yeah. Thought it was safe to jump, but the Hydra's covering that option. We're gonna get some quick percent with this juicy Pac-Man combo. Big fall him off the side. Wow. Not quite. He doesn't catch the up beat. Back throw looking to do it again. Oh, yeah. that's unfortunate. Alright. It's definitely still possible. Drew's just gotta get his head in the game, seal the stock. Wow, I didn't kill. Gets flipped by the side B. I like where he was going. He was just a little bit slow to react. Oh, okay. Wow. We take those. We definitely do. Almost got gimped himself, but turned the situation around. All right, Drew just has to rack up a lot of damage here and just cannot get hit yes. very much. Every percent is nice follow up. Yes, Excellent. big combo. Clemens able to nair out. And down air takes it. Wow. Doesn't have a jump, unable to recover. All right. Man. That was pretty hype. Yes. That was pretty hype. Very commanding last game from Plemons. All right. Looks like we got a Psy versus Plemons matchup this year. That's neat. Right now? Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, double feature. Maybe we can get my boy Drew on commentary. You want to commentary? I can do that now. Let's do it. Good stuff. I like the Young Link game one. Yeah, I'm just trying to do a bunch of different characters. That's why I switched to the Inkling game yeah. too. Even though like 
my young link is like objectively winning. Really yeah. And then I just like super through. <laughs> yeah, it definitely it, both both characters I think were putting in work. It just took you about a stock and a half to figure out the matchup with the inkling. Yeah. Which was kinda made it tough. I also had to remember that you're supposed to up throw. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> I was playing Inkling the whole time, and I was literally just like winning a lot of situations because Inkling is so much better than Pac-Man. Yeah. I was doing nothing right. It was just, yeah. Inkling was really fucking, it's just so good. Uh, it's like we're going to the oh, stadium and have that Snake-Pac-Man matchup. I feel like this is, a, quite honestly speaking, a very, very good matchup for Snake. I don't know that Pac-Man oh, yeah. has a lot. <laughs> uh, I feel like there's not a lot of matchups where you're like, wow, this is really good for Pac-Man. <laughs> yeah. That being said, there's not a whole lot of Pac-Man experience to go around here, so Plymouth yeah. can still pull a lot out. Plymouth has got a lot of solid fundamentals. Yeah. Yeah, that fire hydrant can definitely throw you off super hard. So hard. I feel like the tricky part for Plymouth is he's going to have to go in a lot more than he really wants to. Because yeah. Snake is definitely going to out-camp him. And that's yeah, that's the, that's the thing. Is like, yeah, it's like Pac-Man... Normally, I feel like you can get people to chase you pretty hard, but Snake can just like do exactly what he's doing right now and just like throw grenades and yeah. all the He's getting a good big conversions. I just love those like Galaga slash Hydrant combos, all that stuff. That's yeah. just so cool. Mm. All right, got an edge guard situation. See, that's a punishable situation that Sai definitely needs to watch out for. Yeah. If he puts that Nikita in the right spot, he could, he could get a free edge guard there. Yeah, especially if Pac-Man has to dip too low, where his like, recovery is pretty much goes straight up without getting a bunch of times, that would be super easy to hit with the side B rocket. All right. Nice back air. I just love those combos. That's so sick. Oh no! Big damage. Jesus. He's at 86. Yeah, that was one thing I was noticing when I was playing. Oh, his no! punishes on me were like way bigger than my punishes on him. He has a pretty good punish game. Alright. Oh yeah. man, that was good. That, that up smash came down. Yeah. 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 Otherwise, he was probably dead. Definitely in the aerial department. Oh, that you hate to see those. Definitely in the aerials. Pac-Man's uh, gonna be able to just nair out of the situations unless uh, you know Sai hits him with a big back air or up air or something like that. All these multi-hit aerials, Pac-Man's just gonna be able to nair out, no issue. Right, nice dodge in the C4 there. Out for his own grenades right yeah, definitely. Sai's not gonna want to trade with the grains too much if he can avoid it, because he needs to keep that percent. Up. Going for the up smash edge guard, so I like it. Yeah, it's definitely making it difficult for him to get back on, but he just sneaks right through the charge up right there. Hashtag into forward tilt. All right, we're basically in an even game. Yeah, this is a close game for sure. Ooh, nice use of the C4. Yeah, luckily for Sai, when he SD'd, he was at a pretty high percentage, so he didn't put him too, too far behind. He's definitely keeping it really even. Alright, oh, I can't get hit by those. I'd want to see Sai try to do some wave bounces with the grenades, maybe. Definitely. Keep his movement tricky. Yeah, definitely. He's kind of getting shark a lot right now. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Those explosions are huge. Oh, my. If he dies off of this, okay. Nice use of the up smash again. That almost killed. It was so close. Great DI by Plemons. 
back throw. No, nowhere even close. Jeez. Poor Pac Man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, not like that. Oh. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. Yeah. He right. almost had it, too. Yeah, definitely a close match. Um, there were a few times. Um, I don't know if I want to give it away while they're talking, but so I was trying to, he would set, he would try to set up the up smash edge guard like when he just did not have enough time. Because there were a few yeah. times that worked super well when Ben was just like had just gotten hit and was still drifting in. But there were like multiple times, especially towards the end, where Clemens would be really, really close, like within aerial range, and he would still be trying to set up the up, like up smash edge guard. Definitely. And it, he would just get right between the charge up and hit him out of it. Get, up, like, get back on stage for free. All right. I did not catch the stage again. I think horrible. It was Smashville. Smashville? Yeah. Uh, hmm. God, I hate Frozen Smashville so bad. Yeah, it's really ugly. I hate I hate the middle platform. It just triggers me. I actually like Hazardless Town better, but yeah. definitely Hazardless Smashville is kind of gross. <laughs> yeah. Funny was kind of gay. Oh, right, right. Popping off so in the bad. venue here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, big conversion here. Yeah, his, his punishes have been really clean. I, I, out of every match I've seen him play, he's been doing really good punishes. Oh, oh no! I feel like that's the tax you just pay for, <laughs> for tilting. The Pac-Man so tax. Yeah, that's the Pac-Man <laughs> tax right there for sure. Oh wow. Great use of the hydrant. Yeah. It's like size use of the grenades to be a lot more annoying in just trading situations. Yeah. You got a solid 44 and he really didn't do much, he just traded with grenades. Oh I feel like that was shield grabbable. Yeah, for sure. Ooh, good up smash. Oh, that was really good. I didn't even realize he had a plan. <laughs> what? <laughs> Me either. Oh, God. I guess that's why it worked. I mean, yeah. we're not even playing if we didn't see it. Yeah. Oh, uh, nice use of the grab armor there. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely felt like he was trying to set up, like, bait. Like, those are situations right there. That's, like, when he had yeah. plenty of time to set it up, it worked super well. Also, I don't know if it's just a coincidence or if he heard me, but I've seen him do a couple wave bounces with those grenades now, and it's definitely lets him get around those platforms super, definitely. super good. I feel like in these situations, Sai just does not need to let Flemings charge. He needs to just start chucking grenades, just put some pressure on the man. Uh, that grenade was really good to bail him out of that combo. Yeah, these raw up smashes just... I'm the wrong character. I feel like that's like Fox muscle memory coming yeah. in. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, great air dodge. Yeah, that was real, real good. Is he gonna land? Snake not having, like, not going into special fall after his up beat, so. Makes it really hard to, like, fall when that's his fall. Yeah, definitely. There's. It, depending on your character, you could have a, a tough time or a pretty easy time edge guarding Snake. I feel like Pac-Man doesn't really have those great options. Yeah. I definitely want to see if he can try to get more of those setups that he had a minute ago where he forces him to shield with an explosion mm -hmm. and then just grabs him for free. Definitely. And honestly, with all this rage, a down throw into a tech read um, up tilt would probably kill. Yeah. Oh, the key though. Yeah. Oh god, big damage. 45 already. Catch guard. Because those early percent punishes, Clemens like... I feel like if you're at zero, it's just like, alright, I'm in training mode now. Time to get this combo. Oh. See, I, I, didn't, I didn't see what happened since our, our thing was a little bit behind when I looked over and I saw the, yeah. the frustration. Yeah, such like, a bummer. Such a, uh... This is, it's just losers, hey Demi, it's just losers 
gonna have to take a phone call real quick, sorry. Hello? Oh, you're good, man. Something, dude. All right, guys, I am back on the stream now, and um, well, that was a that was a rough match. Yeah, um, pretty close. Honestly, yeah, honestly, not bad. Clemens, yeah, yeah, he, well, you, you got good, some dude. sick punishes, dude. They're, your Pac-Man punishing, they were like every single time you hit me a zero, I was like, damn. Yeah. I just go to like a 54. I was like, I, I had oh. one or two unfortunate SDs. Yeah, that was. Yeah. If you yeah. were gonna play again, though, like what would what would you do if you're gonna play again? Like, Pac-Man. Yeah, I mean, you would still play Pac-Man again. Yes. And what would you do different? Well, one is not as <laughs> not self-destruct. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> honestly, yeah, because both games are last thought, so the SD like super. Also, um, I wanted to push advantage. Yeah. Snake's disadvantage really bad, but um, I was being too aggressive in neutral. Um, the hydrant is sort of the counterplay to Snake's grenades because the hydrant just goes through the grenades. Yeah. I needed to do more of that and to win neutral for me, as well as uh, the Galaxia, which aside from being an amazing combo starter, also just goes through almost any projectile in this game. Yeah. So I should have used those to find my openings instead of trying to just like run in and forward air and uh, create them out of thin air. Yeah. It was a good match, though. Thank you. I'm excited for this next match. Uh, this is going to be against Sai and Trombonicle. Yeah. yeah, my boy. All Let's right. go. Let's go over and switch it to the screen now and see what's going down. All right. So we got Bowser versus Snake, my dude. This is going to be a good yeah. one. Um, I'm not a fan of Bowser myself. So You're not? No. Nah, I mean, I like him in the Bowser's match. Awesome. Honestly, Trombonicle is a stronger man than me because... We like two of the exact same characters, but I just, yeah. he has faith, whereas I just, I just have given up on him. Because I, I played Bowser at like one tournament outside of this local, and I yeah. got comboed so hard every single time I played. <laughs> even the games I won, I didn't even feel good about. I'm just like, damn. Ah, I don't like playing him. I don't like playing against him either. I just don't like him in general. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't play it. See, the thing is, I don't like playing as Bowser because I'm like, getting punished for like 30 minutes. Just because like you're so heavy, it sucks. But I also don't play this game enough to actually learn punish game with any other character. And with Bowser, you just gotta like his hits just do so much damage. You don't even really need a combo. Uh, do you want to talk on here? I don't know much about the game. Oh yeah, yeah, sure. All right, so guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna sit back here and watch. I'm gonna let. Uh, we got Plemons Plemons I'm gonna let Plemons, I'm gonna let him do this stuff because he knows a little bit more about the competitive stuff. I'm like, he knows a lot more knowledge about this game than I do, so I'm gonna let him talk. All right, fellas, I'm back in. Oh, no, that's it. That's it. Oh, My depression's over. Yeah, the post-loss depression. Oh, that's that. the worst. You just like <laughs> lose, and even if it's a good game, you're just like, you just want to kill yourself. <laughs> so oh, oh, oh my, oh my gosh. gosh! Oh, I almost oh. I don't I know. Like I don't know what I would have done if that connected. Yeah, I, I oh, this, no! gonna, this is gonna be super, super hard for Bowser because like <laughs> the grenades, like your hitbox is so big. Like, oh, okay, that's a kill. Let's go. Yeah. Let's that, go, Bowser. That is one thing. Michael taking a deep breath. The thing is, like a lot of snakes neutral is grenades, and grenades don't cause you to flinch. So there's not a lot to inhibit Bowser from just running in and grabbing and jabbing or do whatever hefty thing he wants to do. Yeah, it, I think as long as Trombonicle keeps it in neutral, then it's going to be all right. But getting off the ledge is going is so hard against Snake as any character, but especially as somebody as big as Bowser, you just get hit by everything. That was a really, really good performance. It was. The fact that he's managing to avoid these Nikitas to 205 is insane. I don't know how he's doing. Yeah. See, here's where it sucks, cause like Snake is Snake can just chill. Snake is like he's just sitting. Mm -hmm. Now he's just gotta find his way in. He's sitting right on top of that. Yeah, top of that 
Oh, oh amazing short hop forward air, knowledgeable of the fact that he might try to blow that uh, C4. And yeah. Trombonicle's just making yeah. this stock go so far. He's definitely getting a lot of mileage off of it, and that's like what you have to do against projectile characters. Because they're just going to keep spamming projectiles. Like, they're not going to kill you, but they are going to rack up a lot of damage, so you just got to like survive as long as you can. It is just astounding that Snake is okay. There is an up smash. Again, in that ledge situation, you just feel trapped. And uh, honestly, if it... Oh. Okay, well, that, that's, there's an SD, maybe? No. Okay. Nope. Yeah. It goes far, and he had an air dodge. So I know. Mm. Oh. oh, man. Yeah, he knew. He still managed to get off that ledge, though, which is essential to start making this comeback happen. The fact is, this is one uh, matchup that's sort of strange in that it seems like Snake is going to have more trouble killing his opponent, and his yeah. opponent is not going to have trouble killing Snake. Yeah, yeah. on that side B, it looked like, I couldn't tell who was in control, but it looked like Snake might have been trying to get him to kill himself. Because when, uh, based on the percents, it changes who's in control of your direction. That's true. I believe it's whoever is healthier. Yeah, that was control. I think that's right. Oh, that was almost a really good tumble. Oh, what? These intimidating dash dances from Trombonicle coming out, yeah. making his movement ambiguous. Also, that down smash is dangerous. That thing kills stupid early now. Yeah, he's definitely definitely playing a lot of footsies, but that's it right there. Amazing. Easy, yeah, easy coverage right there. Yeah. Up reaching through that platform is insane. Mm -hmm. All right, that's game one going to Psy. Yeah, so this is loser's final, so it's best of five. That's facts. Hello, bringer of destruction. Dis destruction. We're happy that you are joining the the little smash uh, stream we got going here. We need, a, we need a catchy name for our tech locals. Mm. Tech friendlies, we're not friendlies here. You play for keeps, dude. We shadow duel. You lose a, a match here, we break your controller. <laughs> <laughs> but only after you've gotten losers, it would be problematic if it was the best. If you only had winner's bracket, that'd be pretty bad. Okay, match has started. Um, it's pretty even so far, so we're feeling each other out in neutral. Yeah. Alright, yeah. Yeah, good avoidance right there. <laughs> Sai has, Sai has not really been able to get anything started yet, but neither has Trombonicle. Ooh, that, was smash. that is fantastic up smash. There we go. That's what I kind of want to see for Rub, is just trying to jump over his projectiles instead of dashing away every single time. Excellent up smash. That was crazy amounts of damage. Because it's easy to want to like dash away to want to avoid all the projectiles, but all that really does is just give up the entire stage. That's true. And you, and you really just need to like get in. You just have to accept that you probably might be going to take some damage. That was good. Also, Trombonco on that recovery using one of Bowser's few strengths when recovering, which is uh, the mix-up between going to the ledge and just heading straight for the opponent above the ledge. Yeah, see, this game, Trombonco is just trying to stay all over him. It's working a lot better. He's jumping over a lot of projectiles and kind of mixing up his strengths. Yeah, if he starts forcing Snake to try to find the opening, then I think the game might become a bit easier for him. That up oh, smash wow. is finally going to kill. It's not the strongest, but uh, at 150, it is a smash attack. Yeah, I think, I think with that DI up, that was one of the buildings. That, uh, that C4 has been there for a while. I hope that doesn't. Okay. <laughs> Side taking care of that problem. Nice. Honestly, that was so. I feel like that was super reactable, so you got pretty lucky that that downer worked. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, uh, also Snake, you know, very thinking man's character. There's a lot to think about. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Excellent. what I was talking about earlier, Bowser is just able to dash straight through those grenades and just profit. Yeah, that's that's that matchup knowledge. Ooh. Oh, sour spot, but oh. still damn. Oh. Yeah, he was going for it. He trying to end him. Okay. 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 Bowser's cooking right now. He is. Sai's got a. Oh, okay, 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 okay. 
was a little... Oh, it breaks my heart how many times Sai has landed a forward air and it has not spiked. Oh, my God. Oh. Were, those two last two interactions, like a second ago, they were just trying to get at each other. Ooh, Sai, amazing ledge coverage. But Bowser's just so meaty, he's gonna live. That was a really good mix up by Trombonical just to land on the stage. That was a really good grab. That was a fantastic, yeah. Really good reactions. Yep, you cannot stay on ledge against that. I would know. I have tried. <laughs> All right, so nice, I bet. Oh, oh! Nice, Bowser up here. Trombonicle reacting very well to that grenade explosion, finishing off the game two. It's one and one. All right, so just in case you guys are wondering, since this is the final round of the losers bracket. It is best out of five now. Right? Yep. It is yes. best of five. Best out of five. You guys got more quality content coming your way from these two individuals. We got more smush. <laughs> smush. Do you want me to toggle to the close-up yeah. between games? Okay. Alright, I think that was Castle Siege. Um, I think that was Castle Siege on the stage, um, which would make sense. Uh, it's a good stage for Snake, because 1C4 covers so, like, half the stage. Oh yeah, um, I didn't even think about that. But, it's also good for Bowser because there's not a lot of room for Sai to set up. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, as Bowser, I would definitely like this stage. It's, it's a lot smaller, so there's less room for Snake to run away. Mm -hmm. But also, Sai is no stranger to up close combat and is not afraid to get in there with Snake's subpar aerials and yeah. just go for it. Sometimes you just gotta say, screw it, and you gotta get in there. That's yeah, a that fact. was a really good catch to run away. Ooh, well, <laughs> yeah, <that laughs> making was, this game a little bit shorter. Yeah, he's gonna fast forward that stuff. I, however, I think Sai could have lived there because I think um, in this game it's consistent with every character. The Bowser dies first, and there is a tiny window yeah. where every character has the ability to double jump. And yeah, that's true. I feel like Snake of all characters could super. Yeah, cause you can see how far he came up. From I mean, I feel like Snake probably could have lived, honestly. But the timing is somewhat difficult, and if you don't have that knowledge and you aren't prepared for it, I totally understand Sai not being quite on top of that. Sai like going the, out. The buffer in this game would be too bad, though. Yeah, but then again, people also don't really know how the buffer works. Oh. Yeah, that's tough. That is unfortunate, SD from Sai. Honestly, I don't even know what he was trying to do. Okay. I, okay. That heavy armor on the forward hill. Yeah, this is dangerous. Sai needs to close this stock Ooh. out fast. Okay. All right. Oh, that fair is so big. It's so hard to get around. But Sai doing it. Believe it or not, and he's, he's set up C4 in the meantime. Okay. okay. But not getting much yeah. mileage out of it. Bowser's really? just so fast. Oh. Oh, and he throws grenade instead of C4ing. I, I feel for you, Sai. That's, a, that's yeah. a heartbreaker. Yeah, at this point, you just gotta make sure, like, if you're, if you're Sai, you gotta make sure you're not getting the arrow ahead, because if you just, like, let one of those SDs, like, break you down, then it's over. Because it, it can really mess you up on, like, the following games. Yeah. We're having a very lively doubles match going yeah. on <laughs> elsewhere, if you're hearing that on the microphone. But anyways, we're going back to Castle Siege. Sai has faith in this stage. Well, yeah, honestly, I, I feel like he died twice from SDs. Like, yeah, that's him true. Him losing last game really had nothing, probably had nothing to do with like, the stage. So I really just letting it rip with these up smashes, which, to be fair, are hard to deal with. And getting mileage out of that C4 on the left platform as well. Yeah, yeah he's definitely making it super hard for Trombonic to get down. He finally did, though. He's making some of these up airs together. Wow, oh that, my gosh. Yeah, that grenade kind of hurting him more than it's helping him. That was a terrible... Ooh! Oh, wow. Saved I can't him. believe that it wasn't even a trade. <laughs> Sai okay. trying really hard to get these Nikitas on Bowser because even though Bowser's up B should deactivate the Nikita when it hits, you're supposed to be able to press the shield button and uh, it's still hit, but Sai's been having a lot of trouble with that. In the meantime, 
Both players have managed to get a kill. Yeah. Yeah, so I just kind of come it down haphazardly. It's got up here. Nice. Making use of Bowser's fast out of shield option. Yeah, that's one of his greatest strengths. This is OP out of shield. It's so, so good. And it racks up a lot of damage. You can even kill at higher percents, too. Wow. The fact that he wow. just, like, yeah, he just sailed through it, but he took so much damage. Yeah, that was a little greedy. That's interesting. You would have thought that the armor would help Snake, but instead, it, yeah, I think it, it slowed him down and yeah. made him take a little full brunt of that flame breath, and that side beats may close it out. Yeah, yeah, because that the fire breath does so much damage. Sai having good coverage, especially when his opponent lands on those platforms. Fantastic parry. I'm gonna assume it was on purpose. Yeah. Um. Man, if he just got a sweet spot back here, it might kill Bowser from the edge of that stage. Wow. Ooh, that was a not good trade, but better than no trade. Ooh, that down smash probably needed an up smash to go with it or some other setup. So I might be just looking for a kill right here. He needs to stay calm and collected. But this Bowser, 169%, is intimidating. Oh! My oh. He just want to end it now. He's like, yo, give me Dimmy. If, if he does back there, Sai, it will end it, no matter where he is. All right, that closes out the stock. Yeah, that was really, really, really good. Whatever rage Bowser had is now gone. Uh, perhaps a breath of second wind for Sai. He can start getting to work on the stock he really needs to be ending. But everything Bowser has is so capable of killing. Yeah, I think Trabonicle just needs to make sure he picks his spots well and not gets... Doesn't get too much damage racked up, kind of like he is right Good now. Good coverage on Psy, though, with that up oh, back air wow, again yeah. to the up smash. What a setup. Oh, wow. Excellent up tilt. Up tilt covers so much. And because he hit with the back of it, it would probably have been safe even if Psy had shielded it. But regardless, he timed it right. Caught him. Closing out the set. And I believe that is. 3-0? No, that was 3-1, uh, I think. Hey, Trombonicle, that was 3-1, right? Okay. Uh, this is, yeah. I'm going to money match Demi after this tournament. Or whoever wins. I'm going to Thug Finals. Put five on it. Sounds like they're finishing up the little friendly doubles here. Yeah, Demi trying to use his top player privilege to not have to come play his set. <laughs> Demi's scared. Yeah. He was Demi's watching. over there shaking. He don't want to play Trombonicle. He knows the Bowser's coming for him. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't see our Gen 1 of last game. Nuh-uh. I just... I, I saw you I saw you go Bowser, I was like, oh that's my dog, and then I played my game and I turned around here to go in Dark Pit, I was like <laughs> That's my real dog. <laughs> oh, ooh, ooh, Mike almost fell, but we Rip saved it. Users. Yeah, I hope that did make a noise. We got this nice little uh, protective case here. Hot filter. We'll see. I'm sure it's fine. Hello, Kobe. What's up? All right. All right. I'm listening. Let's see. Uh, where are you? Are you at your dorm? All right. Shout outs to the four people watching right now. I, I thank you. We are having some hype grand finals about to go underway between Trombonicle and Demi. Demi. Tearing through the tournament, possible. dropping very few games. Oh, yeah. uh, and Trombonicle uh, making the run through losers. Um, we're, we're, as a matter of fact, seeing a run back from a match earlier on in the tournament. Demi pretty solidly took 
the last set, Trombonicle going through three characters was unable to find an answer. Alright, um, now we got the proper view going. Uh, Demi really been rocking the Pokemon trainer. Uh, we may see an inkling come out. But my guess is he's gonna stick it out with hey, the Pokemon hey, trainer why you as much my as name? possible. What, what the fuck? Why do you believe my name? <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> hey, I'll text you. Uh, Demi getting the revenge. Demi, that was hey, that was rude. No, I didn't. I, no. Hey, hey, hey! I didn't do nothing. I We were just full on names. I just picked. I just picked a random one. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, dude. I see how it is. <laughs> I also forgot. Yeah, I did too. I super forgot is what I did. Uh, our actions always come back to haunt us. <laughs> yeah. I don't regret it. That was funny. All right. Go back for the Bowser. He's having faith. Galactic Dolphin, thanks for sticking around. And thank you for the encouragement. We'll be trying to do this every week, to my understanding. But now we are getting into game one uh, with Demi and Trombonicle. Once again, Demi sticking with the Charizard and Trombonicle sticking with his Bowser. Yeah, I feel like certain, Bal or certain Charizards are weird. I feel like you could just so easily just either go straight, like at least Squirtle, or just go straight into the Edisaur. Yeah, uh, right now Trombonicle definitely getting the advantage. He was looking for that tech chase earlier, but still got it from the neutral getup from Demi. Yeah, he's definitely taking advantage of the fact that Charizard is really good. But now Bowser's in disadvantage. Let's see. Ooh, excellent option. Choosing to go up and back down. Yeah, the little delay in these down here is super, super helpful sometimes. Oh, Ooh, just a hard read from... Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> down there to compliment it. Demi making sure that this game is not going to be in Trombonicle's favor just yet. And, and Charizard is in the red numbers, but that does not necessarily mean that he is anywhere near dying yet. Yeah, yeah Pokemon Trainer... I feel like one of the issues in this matchup with Trombonicle is he's going to be really careful when he's trying to recover. All, all of the Pokemon, especially Ivysaur, are really, really, really good at Angel Arch Bowser. So he just goes straight up. And Ivysaur is down here, and just pop him straight back down without even getting fired. Like that, like, like yep. he's trying to do it. Yep. That's going to be a lot of damage, though. Pretty much anything from Bowser yeah. will close out the stock. Ooh. Honestly, I would like that work, but I would have liked to see an up out, up out of shield right there. That's that percent, like I was talking about earlier. That yeah. would, would have killed him if he drug him to the side of the stage. Okay. Oh wow. my gosh, getting an early shield break. Not going to kill, but it will do a lot of damage. 40 damage, as a matter of fact. 50, just eliminating a third of Charizard's stock from that one shield break, extending it to 82. I like Oh, but that's... Bowser's a big boy, but Charizard is a fellow big boy. That down smash will close it. Battle of the big bitch they're both just pushing advantage so hard. Every win in neutral is worth so much in percent. Yeah. That down to is going to do a lot of damage. And, oh, wow. It's stunning to me that that Ubby did not go all the way through the fire and that he only got hit by one segment of the fire. Very strange. Uh, but regardless, the stocks are evened up, which makes this a much better game for yeah, Bowser. Yeah, is definitely, definitely showing that... Bowser Ooh, but that cross up from Ivysaur is going to result in an advantage, possibly a big one. Oh, excellent Vine Whip covering the jump. I feel like that was just reactable. And he's looking for these Vine Whips because he knows even on Bowser, they'll kill if he sweet spots. Oh, I like that. I like it. Wow. Excellent period F smash. That seals the deal. It gave him like just enough time to. Yeah, he it actually would not have connected Femi 
or Demi, <laughs> sorry, Demi began to short hop slash full hop, I couldn't tell which one it was, to get out of danger, because he assumed it would be safe on shield, but that parry coming out of nowhere, making that F smash happen, definitely the MVP of last game. And they're sticking the same characters. Uh, okay, stream's looking all right. All right. Bowser and Charizard. Here the we go. They both just try to dash attack each other right off the start. Going for aggressive <laughs> challenges. They know they need to win neutral. They're trying to set it in their favor while they still can. Trombonical, not a suspect up smash coming out, but he's still retaining advantage. Charizard does have that flare blitz that will just oh that will just kill him again. <laughs> it will cause him to SD sometimes. Trying to get something off that there, unfortunately doesn't really stream together. Good conversions off of Bowser's big body though. And wow, Razor Leaf Divine Whip. Surprisingly uh gonna work. Good damage. Yeah, Demi is uh, trying to, I think, keep this at the slow defensive pace that he plays best in. And Ivysaur may just... Well, a Bowser Bomb may have something to say about that, though. Demi going to be punished for that taunt, but also it's going to get that sick down air. Oh, Trombonicle trying to convert off that down air, but it's just not really working out. Uh, not frame tight. Tomahawk grab, almost killed. Yep. Uh, it might take a little bit more, but around 130, 135, it will definitely kill from anywhere on that platform. But Demi is working on these conversions, making up the loss from that SD earlier this game. It definitely seems like the game gets a lot more even once... Uh, they are on even stocks. Yeah, Trombonicle is definitely, he's done a really good job of getting large enough conversions to Ooh. keep the lead. Oh no. Yeah, like, yet he's again. Not, he's not hitting the punches as hard as he needs to to make his Bowser like, not really, really strong. But these two SDs in this one match are certainly not helping. Yeah. He's just got to really buckle down. He's done a very good job of making it up. He's just not going to have that lead that he normally does. And Ivysaur going to make it back, thankfully. That was a very messy situation. Yeah, he almost lost fight. And he's looking for these Vine Whips to close out the Bowser stock, but it just has not happened yet. Trombonicle trying to dash around and enjoy these aerials. These Bowser bombs! He's landed like three of them this game. Who is this man? Goodness gracious. Yeah, Trombonicle's kind of all over him. And that Flame Breath is just... Oh, oh wow. no. Oh my god. Okay. That will seal it. That's 2 0 in yeah, favor he's not of Trombonicle. Feeling good about that one. Dropping two stocks. So, yes, hopefully he can use that so, to come back uh, even stronger since next game. Yeah. Yeah, uh, has, but it's still 2 0 right now, right? Okay, so Trombonicle has to win one more. Yes, so in case you're not familiar with uh, double elimination brackets essentially, so basically um, Trombonicle is one game away from winning uh, the, first the first set of grand finals, but the thing is because Demi has not lost yet this tournament, a set, if Trombonicle wins this game, that will make it so that they both have lost one, and Trombonicle will then have to beat him again in another best uh, three out of five set in order to seal it. Uh, to make sure that Demi has lost twice. Yeah, and Demi saying, screw it, trying to get a change up here. He's got a, a better character, a better top tier. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, and it's just working out pretty good. That was a pretty strong punish. Definitely is. Demi is not afraid to just throw out these taunts mid-match. Yeah, with taunt canceling, there's like no risk. Yeah, I mean, it is a tool that uh, not very many players utilize. Lazy recovery by Demi. Super caught by Trombonica. But Demi is getting in this early damage that is just sort of easy to do on Bowser. And wow, strange on that uh, cross up from Demi air dodging. Nice grab. Nice grab indeed. He's going to use that flame breath almost every time to catch that ledge and just deal damage. 
Flame Breath is such a good tool for Bowser. Let's see if he uses again. No, decides to be aggressive going off. Incredibly unfortunate. A little bit of reverse time. Revenge time, I like it. Good up be out of shield to preemptively catch him trying to dash out. Yep, he's amazing at catching a, a Demi trying to get down. Inkling is a floatier character. So unless he's able to land with a safe back air or forward air, it can be a little bit more difficult for him to safely make it to the ground. But Demi, or Trombonicle, sorry, is doing a fantastic job at just punishing these unsafe aerials with grab. Yeah. Yo, this is a Nuzlocke. You don't get a all right, nice punish with that fair to give himself stage advantage. I feel like Dippy really, really, really needs to start changing up his recovery pattern this week. At least with Inkling. I, I wasn't really watching as much with Pokemon Trainer, but um, he's, just like, he's just jumped and drifted back on stage a lot of times. Okay, yeah. Uh, I mean, Bowser is surprisingly fast, as is his forward air. Yeah, that's the thing. Is you would think that he could just react, but his, his forward air comes out really fast. Before you know it, you might just die at 80. <laughs> and now, Demi but... definitely turn it on with his punish game, though. Just keep him stuck. Yeah, Trombonicle was on the ledge. Now he's out, but suddenly, after S being on one of his stocks, it is still extremely close and in Demi's favor. Well, I say favor, but also it's Bowser, so uh, they could be at equal percents right now. Especially if Inkling has trouble getting a roller or a, a smash tag, because that back throw will not kill for a... Ooh. That is an edge guard. Wow. Great bomb. Great bomb by Demi. I think that's the first time he's gone for that, too, which made it a very unexpected option. It's 2-1. Uh, Demi is not ready to give up this set yet. Honestly, I felt like towards the end there that... Trabonicle was just trying to force it a little too much. I think he, I think he could kind of feel that Timmy's equally punish game was starting to come back, and he was trying to end it before he could just go ahead and move on to the next set. But I would love to the game. Kind of ran in on his taunts a little too many times, and then drop kill for it. Demi is just very dangerous and that he can be intimidating, especially when he has that lead and it just begins to grow. You begin to get desperate. He's taunting at you. He's getting in your head. If Trombonicle doesn't keep his cool, it could turn sour. All right, but here's the beginning of game four of this. He is. I mean, it certainly worked out better than his Pokemon trainer was. Yeah, his first two stocks were a little rough. After that, he kind of came back. I know Trombonicle is a fan of these flat stages because he likes uh, being able to short hop and full hop freely with Bowser to uh, safely pressure the shield with forward airs. Nice parry, but... Uh, yeah, to catch the I see. Nice job getting out of that... Uh, right platform. Just sort of stray hits from both players, and, but we'll see if Demi is able to capitalize on this ledge situation again. No? Yeah, I definitely feel like it's mostly just been like kind of just random straight neutral hits. No one's really seen like they got like a big read on each other. Having played against Demi, I want to say that his movement is so tricky that it can be very difficult to get anything other than that. Oh, and that is going to be a stock. Yeah, Inkling's dash dance makes it really, 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 really hard to fall. Yeah. Oh, wow, excellent parry. That should kill. Okay, good deal. Kalos is a very big stage. Uh, unless uh, Trombonicle gets those side Bs on these side platforms that are a little bit elevated, it might be might take longer than usual to kill. I feel like, I feel like Trombonicle needs to try to stop playing as aggressive. He's just kind of running in and getting caught by a lot of dash back aerials. That's true. I feel like he, he could do well to maybe try some more fairs in place or retreat the fairs when Demi is kind of getting like a big conversion and trying to get all over him. 
Demi is so good at just sitting at the ledge and reacting to your options and keeping the advantage. And he has been doing that to Trombonicle all this game. But now Trombonicle trying to get a conversion, tried to up tilt into back air, but it just didn't work. Demi catching the jump with his up air. Ugh, yeah. So this is what I mean, spawns in instantly. I mean, I guess I understand you have the invincibility, but he's on the platform, but there's nothing you're gonna get there that he can't react to. Mm -hmm. Inkling's mobility is just so good that it's hard to really throw out things like a down air because uh, it's possible he could be going in a completely different direction than you think he is. Yeah, I can see just full drift in. Ooh, Demi just barely keeping himself alive by staying off of that elevated platform. But there's another side B. Yeah, but in center stage, that was not going to cut it. Regardless, Inkling has so much damage right now. The next solid hit will absolutely take the stock and even the game out. He's looking for those up tilts because they are such big coverage. Yeah. And oh, very awkward interaction, shield against shield. Demi, the more patient winning it out. But yeah, great up tilt. Punish anti airing uh, Demi. That is a good point that uh, Inkling does like to sort of full hop and just drift down with safe back airs and uh, neutral airs. And so. Uh, Soft hit of that down air, definitely bailing him out of that parry. Yeah. Great up the shield. Suddenly the game is very even. Trombonicle has just been pushing this advantage and tacked on a lot of damage in a few hits, like Bowser does. Yeah, he sees a stop. Oh, wow. <laughs> just a, such a bold option. I don't know how he's getting these. It is hard to land most things against this player, much less a Bowser bomb. Yeah, it almost didn't even seem like it was worth it, though. He ended up getting punished for it, even though he did it. See, this is what I'm saying. If that, if that had just been an in place spare, he would have caught him right there. Doing that's a lot true. Of drift in. Really, really, really. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Yeah. Okay. Trombonicle trying to catch him on his way back to ledge, but not working out. Yeah. That's it. And that strong forward air is going to seal it that close to ledge. This is close. Yeah, he's keeping it really close. He's just got to mix up his aggression. He's got to play a little bit more footsies instead of just running in. Because with Bowser, it gets. If you get predictable with Bowser, then you're just such a large body that they can hit you really hard. Yeah. But the problem is, Inkling can play footsies better. Yeah. Well, that's the thing, is you just you have to mix it up. I just feel like he's only going in really, really hard a lot. And I. I mean, maybe there's more to it, more levels that I, I'm not getting since I'm not playing, but that's just what I'm seeing right now. Alright. Regardless, game five's coming up. We're gonna see whether Demi takes us home and calls it a night, or whether Trombonicle is able to push this tournament out to a second set. Oh, excellent conversion off of Demi. That was so flashy. I'm sorry. That was that was really cool. <laughs> but also, Trombonicle pushing back down B grab forward air, catching the ledge with neutral B to tack on a little bit extra damage. One interaction has just resulted in so much mileage. Yeah, yeah, Bowser, that's, that's the crazy thing about these heavies, man. Even though that could kill, okay. Not quite. Demi just consistently DI these really well. And Trombonicle just getting up there yeah. in a very awkward situation for Demi to choose an option. Oh, All right. Demi just trying to tack on this damage with that pummel, and now he's at the ledge. Trombonicle very good at using his double jump to go over these horizontal aggressions that uh, uh, Demi is putting his way on the ledge. Nice neutral get up to mix up these high recoveries that he's been using to get back on stage. That up be narrowly missing and the down smash not going to kill yet, but that one will. Demi knows that um, if Trombonicle ever tries to come in from the side, he can just side beat it. And it'll beat out Bowser's up beat entirely. And now Bowser's inked. This is really bad. Luckily, he's getting out of disadvantage, trying to wait out this ink so that he doesn't take on more damage than he has to. Femi getting these bread and butter combos off of grabs, but he's also not looking for them all the time, making it very tricky. And now he's playing his game. It's, this is sort of what makes it so difficult, is it's very unpredictable 
whether he's going to be dancing around you or just waiting there and challenging you to come to him. Regardless, Trombonicle doing a very good job of taking it in stride. And that's a powerful down B. Once again, wow. Just catching Demi's landings. Really impressive performance by Trombonicle so far, and he's in the lead. Let's see if we can if he can push it. Push it down here. Ooh, wow. Oh, okay. he a heavy armor. you cannot jab Bowser. He just removes that one move from your arsenal. Oh, and at this percent, you sort of have to recover high as Bowser to make it. Yeah, at that point, it's just lather, rinse, or pee. Yeah. Okay, good fair. Good fair, indeed. Okay, I'm liking these in place aerials. Keep He's keeping it. Yeah. yeah. Demi getting back down and taunting good to prove how much he got down, but that was a good upbeat. Ooh, they're both trying to space each other out, and that upbeat, a good coverage of the ground. Oh, but now Demi is tacking on damage. He's pushing advantage. Just keeping, covering his ledge options. This is where he wants Trombonicle to be. And now he's down smash. This could be it. Oh, okay, recovering platform. high. Excellent utilization of those platforms by Trombonicle. But the advantage is still not over yet. Oh, he tried to hop up. Oh. Oh, goodness. Oh, these back airs are so scary. I don't think he should be fishing for that. It's not going to kill. True. I, I think he did it there because he was at the ledge. But... Oh, that is a wow. strong down smash. Excellent down smash. It's really, really good. Trombonicle has reset the bracket. We're in for at least three more games. Yeah, he barely, barely pulled it out, holding his face. Let's go. Oh, man. Crazy. <laughs> Let's go, Trevor. I can't believe it killed on that side of the stage. I, I am not surprised at all. As that move got buffed in the last patch, and let me tell you, I feel it. Every time I get hit by that move, I feel the buff. Yeah, Bowser. Golly. What? Bowser what can put on some pain. He can. He just takes it too. Yeah, he just takes it. Whew. All right, we'll see if Demi sticks with Inkling. Oh, and he's not. He's going with a fellow heavy King Beefy. Heavy battle. This is a match. Start side bet. I got five dollars on my Bowser boy. <laughs> I wouldn't count out them as King Diddy. It is definitely not a joke character. No, absolutely not. I wish it was a joke character. <laughs> it isn't. Okay. Oh, that would have been such a good grab. I, I'm wow. not. I'm not sure what tools DDD has that will make this specifically better than the other characters. Oh, his stream was looking a little weird there, but it's all right now. Um, I think Demi is just looking for a, for a change of pace. Yeah. And he's ledge trapping with these Gordos. Nice awareness by Trombonicle. Just get up attacking. Especially. Oh! That was a nice catch from the dash tag. Dash tag, dip it down. It's strong. If, if it hits you with the ledge like that, it could kill you at 90. Even Bowser. Here we are, they're back in neutral. Trombonicle trying to win some interactions, being very careful about these Gordos. Playing tennis. A little Ganondorf boss match going on yeah, right now. Seriously. Oh, oh that star, DDD saving grace for landing on stage with that uppy. It is so hard to get around it. Yeah, it's, dece it's really deceiving. You think you can get him, but. Ooh, intimidating dash back and forth from Trombonicle. Demi just going to be patient and wait. And the change up with the neutral B on his side B is so hard to get the timing right to be able to dodge the Gordo. And this stock is definitely going Demi's way. And look, it's even easier for him to taunt now. All he has to do is crouch. Look at DDD's smug eyes smiling at you. But Trombonicle getting. DDD on the ledge. Yeah, that should be a kill. Definitely. This is one of the main differences between the two characters, is that Bowser struggles intensely getting up. Yeah, that was, that was insane. Bowser struggles a lot getting up from the ledge, but DDD doesn't really have as much of a problem due to the fact that he can drop down up air, drop down forward air. Um, 
it's just straight up up B back onto the ledge with very little repercussions a lot of time if uh, he has not hit at the peak of it. Good delay on Trombonicle trying to get back, but there's just very little he can do. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that hammer was blasting him back down. That reach is just too much. It's too much. It's so much, as a matter of fact. Yeah, Galactic Dolphin. I've been looking at the YouTube screen. I've noticed that it lagging a little bit. I know we have a little bit of a delay too, but uh, it's working fine for the most part. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, that's just what it is. Um, here we are, so game two. Tennessee Tech internet, baby. Let's go. <laughs> it is probably largely due to Tech Wi-Fi, um, but here we are, Trombonicle oh, okay. going for a character change. Okay. Ike. We still got the heavies out here, yeah, but one of them has a sword and one of them has a hammer. Heavy gang. Um, See, maybe that, maybe the sword can help him deal with the reach of that hammer a little bit. I feel like Gordo's might be a problem for Ike since he doesn't have a lot of yeah. quick uh, moves to reflect them back at Didi. He might have to respect them a bit more. Um, but Didi, oh, wow. that was dangerous. That was almost bad. <laughs> Oh, and he's going for it again because he knows it'll shield break if he hits that shield again with that F-Smash. Now, Trombonicle starting to carve out a place for himself in neutral. He needs to be the aggressor in this matchup. He cannot let DDD just sit back and throw Gordos. The good news is if Ike manages to hit Nairs, he will likely be able to chain them for good combos and meaty damage. But he can just find one. But Demi is just doing a good job of either being all in or all out. He is not staying at this very dangerous range where Ike has the advantage of being able to nair him and pressure him with safe aerials. That's a good parry out here from Demi. Yeah. That up. Yeah, I thought I thought he was dead from that. He but uh, grab snap to the ledge left. Yeah, Demi had plenty of time to DI towards the stage to make sure that he did not die there. Oh, wow. Oh, crazy up, up smash. Killing. If this was Gandorf, that up smash would have killed. Yeah. <laughs> but Ike's sword is just not quite as big. Yeah, Trabonico keeps finding these up airs. He gets one more. Oh, wow. Incredible punish on the ledge with that up smash. And it just looks flashy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, tilt. Ike is still living that side tilt. Even, right. nope. Okay. I thought he was going to get it third time. <laughs> yeah. Man, I'm, I'm just looking at the player cam, the, the difference. Trombonicle is just cheesing. And then Demi just looks like he would rather be literally anywhere else. <laughs> he's, he's not like he's having a good time. I can be a little bit troublesome to deal with. I'm sure Demi would have preferred to take the first stock, but it looks like it's going his way. And shouts to Trombonicle for managing to deal with that Gordo, moving at such a high speed. Not an easy thing for Ike to do. That's really good jumps by Demi there. Fantastic, fantastic parry by Ike. He knows that timing. Trombonicle's been on the parry grind. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like once you get waxed by Demi's DD a few times, you gotta, you gotta start <laughs> learning those parry times. Oh, Ooh. incredible side B recovery for... Oh, they both had the same idea, but only one of them was in the right position. That'd just be how it is sometimes. Oh, him going for that neutral B was very good, and I feel like it would have been deadly if only he had known that he would not have gotten hit by that Gordo. He could have kept charging it. And Demi is so good at catching these Gordos. Yeah, awesome. Uh, Perry, he forward tilted him if the stream did not catch that. Um... Now here we are, Demi definitely still has percent that Trombonicle is going to have to wake up. And that was super dangerous. Yeah. That might have broken his shield. Oh, oh no. Creating a ledge situation which innately is bad for Ike. Using the onstage hitbox to get Demi off of him. When he landed a neutral air but was unable to convert, thought he was at higher percent so he went for an up air. All right, they're spacing each other out. Trombonicle using that gigantic fair to create space. Yeah, he's trying to just edge his way back in. Trying to two frame with that neutral B, but just was not able to time it quite right. Once again, getting punished for an F smash with F tilt. Luckily, F tilt, as we saw earlier, might take a while to kill. That Gordo tacking on good percent, though. 
Demi just able to calmly shield that side B and send him right back to the edge that he came from. Oh, going for the roll read. That's very dangerous. Once again, these F smashes, I feel like they're coming out a bit too often. Oh, no. Okay, good No, Ike is living. Manages to recover above D to D. Nice, that was a really good jump read. Catching that jump Super good stuff. jump read. Phenomenal. Ooh. All right, that's the game is a uh, two games in the favor of Demi. Yeah, we'll Demi's see. He's trying to clap him and get out of here. Demi has definitely learned, it seems, from uh, the last set because that's something you have to take into account. Is that uh, Demi does benefit from getting so much experience against um, Trombonical. And even Trombonical changing characters did not seem to affect that. And now the Demi's changing it up with Pokemon Trainer. Trombonical's going to respond by going back to his Bowser, who he did have a winning record with against the Pokemon Trainer in uh, the loser side of Grand Finals. We'll yeah, he see. Was up two games, two for two. Less, less than yeah, we'll uh, see if that carries over this set. Once again, still uh, starting it out with Charizard. Demi definitely knows something about this matchup that makes him want Charizard. I bet it's some of those throw follow-ups. Charizard's got some meaty back follow-ups on Bowser. Mm. That's definitely a possibility. Also, Char Charizard has some things like back air and down air that can be very dangerous off stage and forward air. It's almost like a mini Bowser forward air. Nice, good timing on that jet side. Very much. Demi's still trying to push this advantage. It just, that side B just wasn't fast enough and good edge guarding from Demi. All right. Um, He's back here, gonna maneuvering around these jumps. Flair was just gonna back and free with a lot of damage. Yeah. Um, good get up attack. Trombonicle. Uh, Wool oh, Crazy okay. Perry for a second, uh, but he still ended up eating some damage. Excellent spot dodge side B punish. Wow. <laughs> I like uh, for a second when Squirtle first spawned in, uh, the screen in the background was just solid blue. Looked like the computer had gone out of commission for a second. Oh, that Vine Whip, an ever present problem for Bowser, like much of Ivysaur's moveset. Yeah. Yeah, just trying to get Bowser off stage so he gets that down here spike. Every time Demi lands a back air with Ivysaur, he is looking for one or two more. And it is getting good damage. Wow. Uh, Trombonical really getting in or with that dash attack. Um, but now neutral is back set up. Ooh, catching that drop through. Yeah. Just that. Try to see if you can fight it, take a game, and not get reverse 3 0 to the second set of grands. Oh, He's doing a really good job with all these jumps, really good spacing on that down tilt. He's just maneuvering around Charizard's aerials. Yeah, Demi playing so safe. Something that he is able to do with Charizard is just jump towards the opponent and then jump back with his multiple jumps. And it is so intimidating to just have Charizard's back facing you because his back air is so strong, reaches so far. If you commit at the wrong time, you could take a lot of damage. That was uh, Trumbonkel closing out that stock, making this game a little bit closer. I think Demi's going to try to get some... Uh, Damage on, well, never mind. Squirtle is out, Ivysaur is in. The zoner is back in, trying to do his job. Nice razor leaves. It can be very hard to get around. Demi is untouched on this stock so far, and he is not letting him have a chance. And he is just exaggerating that fact. But honestly, I think it's too little too late. I feel like I feel like Demi's just waiting for the a good opening. Okay, good hit with just that heavy armor. Yeah, that was kind of a hill Mary right there. Ooh, that's a lot of percent. And then that free down there. It's just free on Bowser with that upbeat. Yeah, really it's good. so vulnerable. Great set from both players. A great two sets even. Yeah, Demi, really, really good set from both players. Demi taking a commanding 3-0 yeah. 
in the second half of this grand finals, but Trombonicle certainly did not make it easy. Yeah, really showing the adaptation. All right, I'm not sure if this stream is going to stay up for friendlies or what, but uh, that is the end of the tournament. It was 3 0. Oh. Um, thank you guys for tuning into this tournament. Uh, Demi is definitely the champion this week. Um, yeah, what about that match though, dude? That was sick. Woo! It was. Uh, I got a little, I got a little worried about Demi there for a minute in the first part. They were both yeah. looking for things. Oh my gosh! Every time Demi uh, vine whipped, I went yeah. like. <gasps> <laughs> yeah. I was sure. Well, this is the first uh, live stream of uh, Smash Bros. So I plan on doing this every Tuesday if we can. Um, yeah. And getting more professional each time. Next time we'll have more stuff. I forgot a few chords, so hopefully you guys are fine with what you got to see today. Uh, we'll see you on the next stream. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Let me know what you guys think down below, and I will see you all in the next one.